round another, round another, uh. round another, round another, uh. yeah. Round enough the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it, and you know it, yeah. Reading through the law to see, I gotta dot the I's, even cross the T's, and you know it, and you know it. Praying to the Lord, have mercy. Show me where you wanna go first, you know. Oh yeah. While I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Show me where you wanna go next, you know right away If you're lost and you don't know where the truth is Looking all around, but you don't know where to go Well, we gon' show you the way, okay, let me read the line Line it up, send it back to back, kicking nine time Doctrine killer, hate the stepping back Captain Joel from the book, get the robbers back Officer Ahim, yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix, get from way back Minister of Knowledge, Officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh Up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it, and you know it. Yeah. Round another, round another, uh. round another, round another, uh. yeah. Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it, and you know it. Reading through the law to see, I gotta dot the I's, even cross the T's, and you know it, and you know it. Praying to the Lord, have mercy. Show me where you wanna go first, you know. Oh yeah. While I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Show me where you wanna go next, you know, right away If you're lost and you don't know where the truth is Looking all around, but you don't know where to go Well, we gon' show you the way, okay, let me read the line Line it up, send it back to back, kicking nine time Doctrine killer, hate the stepping back Captain Joel from the book, get the robbers back Officer Ahim, yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix, get from way back Minister of Knowledge, officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah
lining up the book to read I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it And you know it yeah. Round and up the, round and up the, uh. Round and up the, round and up the, uh. Yeah Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it, and you know it, yeah. Reading through the law to see, I gotta dot the I's, even cross the T's, and you know it, and you know it. Praying to the Lord, have mercy, mercy. Show me where you wanna go first, you know. I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Speak through the mouth from my lips when I'm Show me where you wanna go next, you know. Right away. Yeah. If you lost and you don't know where the truth is, looking all around, but you don't know where to go. But we gon' show you the way, okay, let me read the line Line it up, stand it back to back, kicking nine down Doctrine killer, here's a stepping back Captain Joel, from the book, get yeah, the proper's back Officer Aheem, yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix, yeah, from way back Minister of Knowledge, Officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it, and you know it yeah. Rounding up the, rounding up the, uh. rounding up the, rounding up the, uh. yeah Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it, and you know it Reading through the law to see, I gotta dot the I's, even cross the T's, and you know it, and you know it. Praying to the Lord, have mercy, mercy. Show me where you wanna go first, you know. Oh yeah. While I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Show me where you wanna go next, you know, right away. Yeah. If you lost and you don't know where the truth is, looking all around, but you don't know where to go. But we gon' show you the way, okay, let me read the line Line it up, send it back to back, kicking nine down Doctrine killer, here's the stepping back Captain Joel, from the book, yeah, the proper's back Officer Aheem, yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix, yeah, from way back Minister of Knowledge, Officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 oh Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it, and you know it yeah. Rounding up the, rounding up the, uh. rounding up the, rounding up the, uh. yeah Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it, and you know it
going Yeah Reading through the law to see I gotta dot the I's Even cross the T's And you know it And you know it Praying to the Lord have mercy Show me where you wanna go first You know While I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Speak through the mouth from my lips when I show me where you wanna go next, you know. Right away. If you lost and you don't know where the truth fed, looking all around, but you don't know where to go. But we gon' show you the way, okay, let me read the line Line it up, send it back to back, kicking nine time Doctrine killer, hate the stepping back Captain Joel from the book, yeah, the robber's back Officer Ahim, yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix, yeah, from way back Minister of Knowledge, Officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it, and you know it yeah. Rounding up the, rounding up the, uh. rounding up the, rounding up the, uh. yeah Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas And you know it, and you know it Reading through the law to see, I gotta dot the I's, even cross the T's, and you know it, and you know it. Praying to the Lord, have mercy. Show me where you wanna go first, you know. Oh yeah. While I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Mouth from my lips when I show me where you wanna go next, you know. Right away, if you lost and you don't know where the truth fed, looking all around, but you don't know where to go. But we gon' show you the way, okay, let me read the line Line it up, send it back to back, kicking nine time Doctrine killer, hate the stepping back Captain Joel from the book, yeah, the robber's back Officer Ahim, yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix, yeah, from way back Minister of Knowledge, officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, shalom, shalom. Welcome back, welcome back to Our Hidden History Radio. I'm Deacon Athan, and to my left, to my left, <laughs> Officer Haim, <laughs> Officer Adan, and to my right, Officer LaCroix, Officer Jezreel. Yeah, this is Our Hidden History Radio. Um, so let's begin, let's begin. I don't hear myself. We good? No, you good, Deacon. All right, all right. Oh, here we go. We got to hear myself down. All right, so now, last week I, I, I stopped at Zechariah 8, and... Three to seven, but um, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back because I came across some stuff, and I want to go back real quick because I made mention of how they were saying that they were saying how the Jesuits. Some Jesuits said we didn't have any writings, we didn't have any books, and I brought it out in some books. But I want to just delve into some more stuff. So real quick, let's go to this book here, uh, Ten Tribes, real quick, and I want to go to page one fifty two. I'm trying to get out of America. I'm trying, but it's like every time I try, I leave out of there, man. Something pull me right back in. So those will be going to be. 
Hopefully this is the last time I'll be going to America and leave a body here. Page 152, and I want to start with the Mexicans. Go up. Yeah, the top of the page doesn't have the title of the book, so it's okay if you have the top of the page there. It's all right. Hey, uh, brothers, turn the, head, the headphones down a little bit, please. Thank you. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. The Mexicans appear to have given due consideration to a subject very explicitly detailed by the prophet Daniel. So they, the Mexicans paid much attention to, uh, to the prophet Daniel. Watch this. And what has been well dominated. Denominated. Denominated, sorry. His calendar. His calendar. So the prophet Daniel has something to do with the calendar, with their calendar. Watch this. The gold, which symbolized the ancient Babylonic empire. The gold head, which symbolized the Babylonic empire. Go ahead. Was not figuratively nor spiritually, but literally and pos uh, positively not only succeeded, but superseded by that of which the symbol was silver. Go ahead. The Medio Persian dominion was in turn superseded by that which the brass indicated. And in due time, the Grecian uh, denomination, domination. domination was superseded by the Romans, which was characterized by the iron. This is Daniel chapter 2. Go ahead. The fifth universal empire. Ah, not what they had on the calendar. So they had Daniel 7 and Daniel 2 in their calendar. So they understood the, the times they were in. Remember, it's because of several times. They understood what time they're in. What, this is the fifth universal empire. Go ahead. The fifth universal empire, that of the Messiah. Now, you may ask yourself, well, there was only four empires that the Bible mentions, but understand, America is the fifth, okay? And what I'm, well, to them, America is, America is an extension of the fourth, but they refer to it as the fifth. Watch this. Like, for example, when you read Revelation, it tells you that um, it's a, it's a, the, um, seven heads and ten horns. It says that there's seven horns, but out of the seventh is, comes the eighth. The seventh is Britain. America is of the seventh. But it's the eighth. Likewise, America is of the fourth, but it's the fifth. In, in terms of this context here. Okay? Go ahead. Watch this. The fifth. The fifth universal empire, that of the Messiah, which is symbolized by the adamant, shall as, shall, shall as really and politically supersede the last aspect of this Roman empire. So he's referring So I'm sorry. I'm bugging out. So in this instance, he's referring to our kingdom. The children of Israel's kingdom, not, not America, but um, the children of Israel's kingdom. The Messiah's kingdom will be the fifth. They refer to that as the fifth. So they understood the book of Daniel. Now you may ask yourself, well, why am I, why am I going um, through Daniel? What, what's the purpose? I'm showing you that the, that the Aztecs or Mexico Mexicans had the history of Daniel in their records. Right. That's what I'm showing. They had knowledge of Daniel 7. They had knowledge of Daniel 2, chapter 2, verse 44 and 45. The iron, the brass, the iron, the gold, the iron, the brass, and the, the brass, I'm sorry, the gold, the silver, the brass, the and brass. the iron. Yes. Okay? Now, let's go, keep that in mind. We understood Daniel chapter 7, the four beasts, in chapter 2, verse 44 and 45. And he mentions the fifth as in the Messiah's empire to follow, going into Daniel 7, where the saints, where the saints will take the kingdom. So basically, they, they, they had the Bible. They had the Bible, yes. They, they had they the, Bible. the Bible. Right. Yep. They had prophets amongst them that was able to explain to them what I was reading, reading in uh, Daniel, the second chapter. Yep, and the seventh, and the second. Second, seventh, and the seventh. Now, let's go to page 147. Same book again, page 147. Yeah, my mistake, I said America. I said America. The Messiah's kingdom is the fifth that they're referring to. All right? I jumped too far ahead, too fast. Page 147. D, we starting at it is not? No, I want to jump down to the bottom where it says it was in the month. In the reference. Yeah, down to the, you'll see where I, where I underlined it, right there, and right there, right there, in the, you got to pronounce that word or done, I don't know what that word is, but we'll get to it, <laughs> blow it up, in the, it was, it was in this month, Officer Don. So this month is going into uh, 
Um, it says, uh, well, go above that. Go to from. I can't really see it. It's, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an E, right? Yo, it's, it's, uh, the, word, the word is T-E-O-C-A-L-L-I. Toxcatl. And T-O-X-C-A-T-L. Toxcatl. All right. So, read again. <laughs> it was in this month. Tezcati. Tezcatl. Tezcatl. That the, that the fellow soldier of Cortez, Alvarado. The fellow soldier of Cortez. Remember Cortez? Hernando Cortez overthrew the Aztec Empire. Montezuma was the chief or king of this empire. Read again. It was in this month, Tezcatl, that the fellow soldier of Cortez, Alvarado, that ferocious warrior. That ferocious, ferocious mm. warrior. Go ahead. Made Conquistador. A, made a horrible slaughter of the Mexican nobility. Assembled within the enclosure of the Teocali. Teocali. Which is called what in English? House of God. They killed them in the temple. So they killed us. And I, you know why they're in the temple? Because um, Montezuma realized these guys are here. It's time for us to be destroyed. So he started fasting and saying our prayers in the temple. And they killed him and his followers in the temple. Read it again. It was in this month, Tessicato, that the fellow soldier of Cortez, Alvarado, that ferocious warrior, made a horrible slaughter of the Mexican nobility, assembled within the enclosure of the Texacali. Of Teocali. A Teocali. Now keep the word um, Cali in mind. We're going to go we're gonna visit that word again. Cali. Go ahead. Which is the house of God. Which is called the house of God. Go ahead. This attack was the signal of the civil dissensions that caused the death of the unfortunate Montezuma. See, they killed Montezuma in that temple. Because he was fasting and praying to the Lord. He said, please, don't these will have us destroyed. But it was their time. Remember, Quetzalcoatl told them, when I leave here, when, they, when these guys show up here, they're going to overthrow you. That was a prophecy they understood. They understood Deuteronomy 28. They understood that. They understood. Montezuma realized when Esau showed up here, they said, oh, God, here we go. Let's send our prayers to the Lord. And they killed him in the temple. Teokali. In the Teokali. Now, let's go to page 158. Keep that word in mind. Teokali. Page one, so Teo means God, all right? And Kali means house. Page 158. We are naturally disposed to inquire what was the... Tia Moxley. Tia Moxley. The name of the divine book which contained the history, mythology, calendar, and laws of the... Toltecas. Toltecas. Ah, we had them one time. We had them one time. We are naturally disposed to inquire what was the Tia Moxley, the name of the divine book which contained the history, the mythology, calendar, and laws of the Totecas. Remember, the Totecas are the predecessors of the Chichimex. Chichimex are the predecessors of the Aztecs or Mexicans. It's all the same family. Remember, the Totecs are the people of Tola. Tola going into either Issachar's son, Issachar, Tola, or Tula as in Jerusalem. That's what it's going into. Watch this. Read it. This word is compounded of teo, divine. Ah, that's the Lord. Teo, like teo kali. Teo means divine, divinity. Go ahead. Ametli. Ametli. Papyrus. Papyrus. That's pa best book. Go ahead. And Moxley. Moxley. Or mostly. Mostly. Or mostly. Watch this. For in the Mexican language, Y and X frequently supply the place of S. Of X. X. So that's a X. Of, of, of S. Of S. Uh-huh. T-L-I is devoid of meaning, but is a general termination. Watch this. Mostly, then appears to be Moses. Moses. Go ahead. When the sentence would be the divine book of Moses. See? They had Bring the Bible. <laughs> Daniel 2. That explains, <laughs> what they had, that explains what they had Daniel. Wow. The words of God. The word, they had the law and their prophets they had over here. Go ahead. It is necessary to observe that in the Mexican language, the compounding of words terminating in I-T-L with other words and listen, an elision of those final letters frequently taking place as in the word Akatli, Akatli which is compounded of Atli. I got it. I got it now. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm learning. Water, which uh -huh. means water. Which means water. Watch this. And Kali, a house. See? House of God. Teo Kali. House of God. That was the temple they was in. They got killed then. Teo Kali. Teo's divine. Kali's house. The divine house. 
the holy house of God, the temple. That's what it's going into. All right? So now, read next, read the next chapter. Read the next one. A little historical book was found of an Hebrew Indian nation. <laughs> Hebrew Indian nation. Come on, yeah, man. What does that mean? A little, a little <laughs> historical book was found of an Hebrew Indian nation. Go ahead. Which may probably be that of Ben, mentioned by Nunez de la Vega, to which tradition it should be observed. The Bishop of Chiapa lent his much higher authority. It is impossible not to re remark the resemblance which many of their proper names bear to the Hebrew. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the last edition of Garcia's Origin and Origin Los Indios. Right. Remember Garcia? We read about Garcia numerous times. Last week mentioned Garcia. It's the same Garcia. Go ahead. We find the. Page 59, 159. We find the cause, it should say. We find the cause. Yes, sir. We find the cause, which follows inserted by the editor in the text. But Garcia notices himself other Indian names which resemble Hebrew. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. The rumor of inscriptions existing in Utican reached the ear of the venerable Las, Ca Las Casas. That's all I want. Jump down to verse, uh, jump down to... Mm, Hold on a second. Um, the Peruvian Kipos. I, I think I don't think I, I don't think I um got one sixty. I should should give you that too. Right there. I didn't give him one sixty, but we're gonna go jump. Read the Peruvian. The Peruvian Kipos might have been a kind of syllab syllabic writing like that of the Japanese, and the Spaniards seem to have co-signed them to ex in, 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 internal oblivion. Eternal oblivion. As regards the tradition of letters in Mexico, it may be proper to recollect that Tor Torquemada says of the book, which the Indians... Which the Indians declared that they buried underground on the arrival of the Spaniards. So they buried their books when the Spaniards showed up. Because they knew what they were going to do with the book. Now, go, now read the bottom, the bottom, uh, read the bottom portion of what the book is. is the, see the book? Is this book number one? Read that there, the bottom, the fine print in the bottom um, regarding number one. It did. Could it be that they hide the book because of what happened in the Maccabees? Yeah, same thing. <laughs> they were hiding because they knew what Esau was going to do. Esau was going to take it and destroy it. And, and, or, and, and put the image they in the put the image. They knew that. Yep. Hey, hey, there's a specific movie called The Other Conquest, specifically on the Aztecs, how the books, they actually hit them under. They hit them under rocks and all that stuff. Wow. So eventually, they found them. Wow. wow. That's what we're reading it right now. So Esau did find them. Load up some more if you can. Make it fill the fill the screen up with it. If you can, the bottom. Oh, that's, yeah. Move it over. No, the other way. Right. You bring it some more. Bring it some more. Right. Okay. Okay. That's the best you could do. Fine. Read if you read that. All right. Reference one. The following. So the reference one's going back to it says says Torquemada says of the book number one. So number one's going into the is defining book. Watch this. The following testimony is thus introduced by Torquemada. Another ecclesi ecclesiastic name. Brother Diego de Marcada, a grave father who has been defender of this province of the Holy Gospel and one of the most exemplary of men and greatest doers of penance of, this, of his time, relates and authenticates this relation with his signature that some years ago, conversing with an aged Indian of... of the O, 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 Tommies. Of the who? Atomies. We read about them chapters ago, the Atomies. Mm -hmm. Those are the black natives. Remember them? You had the Atomies, you had the Krenams, you had the Olmecs. Okay? So, the, so there's an aged Indian of the Atomies. Go ahead, watch this. Respecting matters of our faith. The so, so, he, so he explained to the Spaniard, the Spaniard here the, the, their faith, where their faith comes from. The Indians explained to the Spaniard where their faith derives from. Watch this regarding this book. Watch this. The Indian told him that they had in ancient times been in possession of a book. Oh, in ancient times they had been in possession of a book. Watch this. Which was handed down from father to son and the person of the eldest who was devoted to the safe custody of it and to instruct others in its doctrines. In its doctrine. That's the Bible again. Go ahead. These doctrines were written in two portions and between the columns. Christ was painted crucified with a... With a countenance as of sorrow. See that? They had the Messiah depicted in the Bible. You understand? They had the Bible. And they, they, they knew about the Messiah. They knew about Daniel. They knew about Moses. They had the Bible here. Now, here's the crazy part. 
They came here during the time of the Persian captivity. They came here. So they had knowledge of the Messiah based upon Daniel also. They had all that history over here. All that here. They had prophets here. All right? And teachers here. Hold on. I'll read, I'll, read, I'll read what I did not give you. It says, they, it says, These doctrines were written in two portions and between the columns. Christ was painted, crucified with the countenance of, as of sorrow. Crucified. They said that God was offended. That God was offended and out of reverence did not turn over the leaves with their hands. But with a small bar which they had made for the purpose in which they kept along with the book, this book was buried in the earth for fear of the Spaniards. Wow. So they would bury, they buried, they, they knew that they said that the Spaniards came over here because God was mad at them because they were going off. So out of, they, they knew when Esau showed up here, hide our books. They, they knew what they were going to do with them. They knew what was coming. They knew who was coming because Quetzalcoatl, the Messiah, told them so. All right? He and, warned them. And Dick, like you said, and they read it in the book of Moses. They read in the book of Moses, right. right. Yeah, Moses. Yeah, they had Deuteronomy 28. They had Deuteronomy 28. They had, 28. Yeah. <laughs> they had it. <laughs> and plus they had... Um, the prophets. Uh, the Old Testament too. First yeah. Maccabees, to, you know, tell them about how they um, paint their image in the books. Right, as well. They had, all, they, had all the, they had the prophets as well. They had the prophets. They had um, uh, Moses, all of that. Right. So it's showing you that they had knowledge of the, that when the parents came over here, they said, damn, these guys are here now. Let's hide this stuff. They're going to destroy it. All yeah. right? But obviously they didn't, they didn't destroy enough of it because we're reading it. All right? So now let's go to what page now I want to go to? Page 161. So, Deacon, we never looked at them as, as Esau painted that they were gods coming to this side no, of the world. No, that was a lie. Yeah. That lie. Remember I told you a lot, chapters ago how Esau Cortez came over here. He, the Montezuma told him that they were sent here by God to save them. But that was a lie. It was, that lie was spread all throughout the islands that the Spaniards made up to say, see, when, they, when we showed up, the Indians thought we were their saviors. But they, what history tells you is that we, these guys are here to destroy. These guys are our destroyers. Right. They knew that. That's why Montezuma went into the temple to pray, and they killed him in there along with the other, along with his servants. In the Teokali, in the house of God, in the divine house. And he didn't, he didn't, he didn't leave out of there. And, and, and also, to tip it off, you know what helped Cortez conquer the Aztecs? The woman. The uh, Aztec woman. Her, her name was... Uh, Malinche. Malinche. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm with the curse. <laughs> Malinche. Malinche. La Malinche, right? Right. And that's the term of, of, that's the term of that's an insult of women even today. It's the insult of Mexicans among Mexicans today of a woman. That's like a, that's like a Jezebel, that's like a Jezebel, right? right, right yeah. Even to this day. Lama, so she turned her back on her people. That's right. why they got overthrown. Right, right, right. When you betray someone, like that's when it's called like Malinche. There you go. Yeah. And she had his uh, his first she had his firstborn mixed breed child in this side of the world, they said. Like he was like the first one of a of a mestizo was his child with her. All right, among many other wives he had or concubines he had. Go to uh, Sagun, um, page 161, Sagun. Sagun now, said. This name, we go over new, numerous times. Sagun is a popular name. We go over this numerous chapters, chapters ago. Sagun, go ahead. Sagun says that in the reign of Itzacuatl, Itzacuatl, the lords and principal persons amongst the Mexicans, who were the priests. The elders, go ahead. The government being a theocracy. God ruled. Theocracy means governed by God. Theocracy means governed. God ruled. That's our kingdom was the theocracy. Go ahead. Buried their ancient records that they might not fall into the hands of others. Spaniards. Spaniards. Go ahead. This might refer to the destruction of the tea, the tea, the tea, the tea, the tea, the tea, the the book of Moses. Yeah, the divine book of Totecas. This might refer to the destruction of the Teo Masli, the divine book of the who? The divine book of the Totecas. Go ahead. In the reign of the above-mentioned king, from which the Mexicans might have borrowed their notions and metaphors. Right, they got their notions and metaphors from the Bible. You understand? <laughs> so now, page 163. We're going to start at therefore. And that's Psalms 2 and 7. All right. 
Uh, it is therefore in the genius. No, go to, no, matter of fact, go to the Jews. Go up there. Right there. Right there. The Jews. Right there. Start from there. Yes, sir. The Jews who had only been in Babylon 70 years. Hold on. So remember, we spent 70 years in Bab under Babylonian rule. That's according to the prophecy of Jeremiah. 70 years. Watch this. Has so corrupted the Hebrew language. Stop. The Hebrew language was corrupted after just 70 years in Babylonian captivity. It was corrupted. So when we came to this side of the world during the Persian captivity, it was corrupt also. That's why they called it half Hebrew. In the last chapter I brought up last week, it was half Hebrew. It was corrupt. Go ahead. Read again from the top. The Jews, who had only been in Babylon 70 years, had so corrupted the Hebrew language as to render it necessary to affix a determinate pronunciation by the introduction of vowel points. So, so vowel points to add on because the Hebrew was corrupted. The Hebrew we speak is corrupt even now. So, you, so you're saying that the Lashon Kadesh is not... It's not pure. <laughs> it's not a pure dialect. It's not, it's, you, it's not a pure dialect. There you go right there. From each, even when we came out of Egypt, it was corrupt even then. It's not pure. We're going to get the pure Hebrew we spoke from the time of Adam and Noah in the kingdom. We don't have it now. So when I say my name, like, bro, you have Lakwat Mata, you have Haim, you have Jez, Aitan. These are rehearsal Hebrew. I call it rehearsal Hebrew. Right, right. Rehearsal Hebrew names. Rehearsal. With, with, with English, because it's, it's Israel. Israel is an English word mm -hmm. that came about in the 14th century. Yeah, Jez. Sorry, yeah, that goes back to the book that Bishop brought out. Yes. Uh, that uh, It was Serial Chaldaic Hebrew that we're yes. speaking now in the New Testament, correct? Right, yep. After the Babylonian. Yep, yep, yep. after the Babylonian, correct. And that book um, to, um, with the Ab Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that book mentions the black yes, and black. Read on, next one. It is therefore. It is therefore in the genius of the transatlantic dialects that we are to expect Hebrewism mm -hmm. rather than in the use of Hebrew terms. Although in their religious rites, these have been wonderfully preserved. The Hebrewisms, get or Hebrew terms have been preserved among the natives. Get, among the natives, go ahead. For example, the same myster mysterious personage who was by the ancient Chiapanese designated Votan, heart of the people. So there's a guy of the Chiapas named Votan. Go ahead. By the Tulu the Tuluans. Tulians or Toltecs are the same people. Toltecans or Tulians of Tula, Tola. Tolians, Tulians, same thing. Go ahead. Or Issacharite, same thing. Go ahead. Baab, son of the father. So hold on, Baab. Baab. Do I have the Tulians? Baab, son of the father. Go ahead. And by the Mexicans, Topolitzin. Topolitzin. And Teopitzin. Teopitzin. Watch this. Our son and God's son. Our son and God's son. Teo means God. I said before, divine. Our son or God's son. Go ahead. Was by the Peruvians denominated Verchaca, sun and star. Sun and star, going back to, read on. This latter term for sun uh, is Chaldee and is only used with reference to the Son of God. Where? A as in Psalms 2 and 7. The anointed. The anointed, man. Going back to Messi, the Messiah. Going back to the anointed. Psalms 2 and 7. Same thing. So it's too much history of, regarding. Issachar regarding Aztecs being Israel. If you if you denounce Mexicans, man, you just uh, I, I I don't know, man. You just retarded. I, I don't know. I don't know. So now, enough of that. Let's get um go back to um origin of the Indians. I spoke the book again. I said it again. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Wow, D. Bishop used it in the book anyway. Bishop <laughs> used it. You have that now. Origin of the Indians, uh, page. Oh, yeah, that book is good. Yeah, Bishop yeah, used it way used back. All, Bishop used it way back, so I, ain't, I might worry about it. Page 60. Bishop been using all the books. Yeah, here's the name of the book right here. That's the title. Here's the author. I'm like, oh, here's his address. I'm like, oh, Bishop, oh, no. We're never going to get the book now. Page 60. And we want to start with, we read this last week. We read this. Page 61. I'm sorry, page 61. Page 61. And I want to start with, this was Garcia's argument, the same Garcia we read about, Oregon, uh, the origin of the Los Indios, origin of the Indians. That's, what he, that's the book he wrote. We read this last week. I want to go to, hold on, go to, for thus, thus for each opinion. Uh, okay. Blow it up a little. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Thus for each opinion. 
Garcia posed all the objections he knew and refuted them in turn. Garcia utilized the standard classical authorities, many biblical commentators, several cosmographers, authors of questionable traditional histories, such as Barosus, and most of the Spaniards who had offered origin theories. Before discussing the various opinions on origins, Garcia explained the conditions which governed the development of his treaties. First, it was necessary to accept three things as fundamentals on which to base the structure and the argument of the book. The first dealt with the Catholic faith that all men and women had and have since the beginning of the world preceded and taken their beginning and origin from all first parents, Adam and Eve. Right, that's true. Go ahead. And subsequently from Noah and his sons. After Adam and Eve. Go ahead. Who were all who remained alive after the general deluge. After the general flood of the earth. Go ahead. And that Noah divided the world, giving Asia to Shem. Hold on. So Noah, sons divide the world. Go ahead. Given Asia to Shem. That's one part of the world. Go ahead. Egypt and Africa to Ham. With part of the with part of Asia, part of the East, Ham, that's two parts. And Europe to Japhet. And Japheth had Europe. That's three parts of the earth. Go ahead. The second fundamental was that people now in the Indies. Now in the Indies, Americas, go ahead. Whom we call Indians went to them from one of the three parts of the known world. So the Indians came from one of these three parts of the known world. The Indians, came from one, the Indians came from one of these three parts or three patriarchs of the known or old world. Watch the three parts. Watch this. The reason for this is that if the fourth part called America were inhabited at the beginning of the world or before the flood in the time of Noah and his sons or grandsons, there would have been notice of it. And the ancient historians and cosmographers would have mentioned it as they did the three said parts. So the earth initially was divided by these three suns into three parts. No one knew about the fourth part of the earth. Except the, except except the, Israelites. the Indians, the Israelites. Correct. <laughs> so what does America refer to? America is referred to in this history here as the fourth part of the world. I like that, man. I like that up there. As the fourth part. Go back. Go to there. This is fourth part. The reason for this is that if the fourth part called America. I like that for the people to see. The fourth part called what? No, the fourth part called America is all I want. This fourth part called America. The fourth part called America right there. So I want the fourth part called America. Now you, now you recall I want to show how the Issacharites or the Ch or Mexicans, Aztecs, had knowledge of Daniel, right? The four beasts, Daniel 2, 44 to 45, Daniel 7. You recall that, right? And the fourth part of the world. Now, let's go to Daniel 7. Watch this. So the earth was divided into three parts. Number Noah's sons, one took Europe and part of East. One took Africa and part of the East. And one took part of Africa and part, and part of the, uh, well, I'm sorry, the old world. Japan took some of Europe and part of the East. Ham took Africa and part of the East. Shem took part of Africa and, mo and all the East. That's, the, that's pretty much how it was divided. And of course... They um um and and further and also Shem and, and Shem and Japheth took later on they took further east later on in history Shem and Japheth took shared land further east during conquest and as time went on the far east was also inhabited that goes into your China your Indian Ocean those lands are all inhabited that's well, why it's called the known world those lands were already known to the, during ancient times this land's called the new world it was not known to anyone. Daniel 7, I'm just going to skim through it, because I'm trying to get out of America, man. I'm getting out. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, it's like Captivity is real, dude. Things, get, things keep pulling me back <laughs> to America, man. But there's a, reason, there's a good reason for it. I'm not going to fight it. I just, it's just the black people got to be shut down. Right. So I just keep going back to it. So Daniel 7 and 1. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 1. No, verse 3. Get to the point. Daniel 7, verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 2. Uh, verse 2. Daniel, Daniel chapter 7, verse 2. Daniel spake and said, I saw my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea. Verse 3. And four great beasts came up from the sea. Mediterranean Sea, go ahead. Diverse one from another. Di different one from the other. Different one from the other. Different one from the other. Go ahead. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. That's the one, the gold. That's Babylon. Okay, 
Go ahead. I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, and it was lifted up from the earth, and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. Daniel became the counselor of Babylon. So he gained, Daniel, that kingdom gained wisdom as a man rather than a beast because of Daniel. Next verse. Verse 5. And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it raised up itself on one side. Because there was a dual empire, the Persian and me, the Medo-Persian empire. The Persians were the strongest side, the Medes were the weaker side. So it had, it's put more, the bear put more weight on one side than the other because this side was stronger. Go ahead. And it had three ribs in the mouth of it. That would be the Ethiopians, Egyptians, and the Sabians. Those three. Go ahead. Between the teeth of it. And they said thus. And they, had, they had them in subjection. Go ahead. And they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. After this, I beheld in low. That's, I'm sorry. That's the silver, I believe, in Daniel 2. Go ahead. At, verse 6. After this, I beheld and lo, another, like a leopard which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. Because he traveled further than Babylon did. Babylon had wings. Of, of Babylon had wings. This one had four wings. I mean, he traveled even further and conquered even further. Going into Alexander the Great. He conquered all the known world within 12 years. Go ahead. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to Representing it. Representing his, he died, his four generals, Lysimachus, Cassander, Seleucus, and Ptolemy became the four that gained dominion over Greece and took and shared the land that Alexander conquered among themselves or fought over it. Among themselves, there's four generals. Go ahead. Verse 7. After this, I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast. That's the, that's the brass right there. Go ahead. Dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured and break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. This is the fourth beast. Go ahead. And it had ten horns. And it had, this beast had ten horns. This beast had ten horns. Horns. So it's not giving you an animal. It's not giving you an animal attribute to this beast. So Daniel was not shown the, the understanding of this animal of this beast attribute. Only he only knew that it was ferocious and it had iron teeth. Okay, and, and that's why I remember since iron in Daniel 2. It had iron teeth. It had, and it had ten horns. The beast had he saw a, that, that had ten horns. That's all, he could, that's all he could see. It was dark. The understanding of the beast was darkened to him. Go ahead. Watch this. I considered the horns. And behold, I mean, the, the horns is referring to those ten horns on that fourth beast. Go ahead. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. So out of those ten horns, a little, another little horn came out of that horn. Go ahead. Before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. It was conquered. That little horn conquered the three horns. The three horns represent Spain, France, and Britain. Those wars. Spanish-American War, French, and the War of Independence. Go ahead. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking great things. Go ahead. I mean, I, this, 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 horn had, this horn had wisdom, understanding. And it spoke great things, meaning it spoke evil things, blasphemous things. Go ahead. Verse 9. It's not talking about Antiochus. Antiochus did not come out of Rome. He came out of the Greeks. People say, that's anti uh, scholars say, that's Antiochus. It says, out of the fourth beast. Right. Antiochus came out of the third beast, not the fourth. Nice try, he saw. Nice try. Go ahead. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was as white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. He was black. Pure woolly hair, the father has. Go ahead. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. His, 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 his chariots. Go ahead. A fiery stream issued and come for, came forth from before him. Thousands. Thousands ministered unto him. Thousand, thousand means millions ministered unto him. Go ahead. And 10,000 times 10,000. More millions. Go ahead. Stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were opened. So he's Daniel seeing the end of days and the end of everything. Go ahead. I beheld. And the kingdoms that we read earlier are all gone. They're all thrown over, all thrown down. Go ahead. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. What well, horn? What great words the horn spake? Back in verse 8 where it says, and a mouth speaking great things from that little horn. Go ahead. Watch this. I beheld even till the beast was slain, and his body destroyed, and given to the burning flame. Give us the top again. I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. So that horn, that horn represents a beast itself. That horn is a beast in itself that came out of the fourth. It's an extension of the fourth. Go ahead. I beheld even till the beast was slain, and his body destroyed, and given to the burning flame. It was given to the burning flame. That little horn was given to the burning flame that spoke great things. Watch this. Verse 12. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season yeah. and time. Yeah, it was time for slavery. That's what that means. 
Now, let that go. Let's go to Esdras 12, second Esdras. He saw the beast was burned by the fiery flame. Remember that? Four beasts. Rome wasn't burned. Rome wasn't burned. Rome had a fire, but it wasn't wasn't destroyed by flame, Rome. It just fell. It was overthrown by us and then eventually taken back during the Renaissance. Second Esdras uh, 12 and 3. The book of Second Esdras, chapter 12, verse 3. And I saw and behold, they appeared no more, and the whole body of the eagle was burnt, so that the earth was in great fear. The whole, hold on, the whole body of the eagle was what? Was burnt. The whole body of the eagle was burnt. Remember Daniel 7. The body, the body was destroyed by the fiery flame. Read it again. And I saw and behold, they appeared no more. And the whole body of the eagle. Of the eagle. So what's this eagle? What's this, why is this eagle on fire? What happened? Go ahead. Was burnt. Was burnt. Go ahead. So that the earth was in great fear. Then awake I out of the trouble and trance of my mind and from great fear and said unto my spirit. Because he saw nuclear fire. That's, that didn't exist during, during um, Ezra's time. So he was losing his mind. Because he's seeing this. You understand? Let me give you an example. The movie um, Man of Steel. When there's a scene, in fact, you get it on the screen? I'm going to show you how, how the Lord shows the prophet's thing. So I'm going to give you an example. There's a, a, a scene where Zod shows um, Superman his, his plans for Earth. This is how the Lord showed the prophet's things. Y'all thinking in your mind, they're, just leave, they're seeing it through a TV screen. No, they were placed in the situation. You understand? So things are burning. They're in the fire. They're, they're seeing everything. They're feeling everything. They're seeing everything. That's why these guys, they be terrified, they faint, they pass out. That's why. Look what. Yeah, indeed. That's exactly what Malachi says in chapter 4. Right. That they come, that's going to feel like an oven. Right. How do you know that? Right, because he was right in in the midst of it. Correct. He felt it. Mm -hmm. And that's why, why, um, biblically, that's why um, they were throwing the fiery furnace. That fiery furnace symbolizes us. They were in the fire. They felt it, but they didn't get touched by it. Mm. And there was no, there was no... Smell smoking or anything like that. Watch this scene real quick. Dang. Can you play this scene without getting cut off? Uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. All right, perfect. Blow, blow it up so we can, we can hear it in the jig. This is kal or Superman being shown a vision by Zod and his plans to take over the Earth. Since Krypton was, take, was destroyed, they're going to turn Earth into a new Krypton, which, they, which goes into the Bible again, but that's another topic. So, uh, Dick, so now imagine that this is Daniel right there. Right, imagine this is Daniel, and right. Zod is the Lord pretty much. Right. Because Zod represents righteousness. Superman's the devil, pretty much. Press play. Watch what he says to him. Hello, Cal. Or do you prefer Clark? Pause, pause. Oh, 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 you gotta go back. You gotta go back some. (laughs) You gotta go back some. Play it again. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna get past that part. Play it again. No, go back, go back, go back. Come Hello, on. he says Come his on, name. Come on, brothers. Come on. Right there, right there. Come on. The volume up a little bit. Turn the volume up some. Yeah, turn the volume up some. Hello, Cal. Or do you prefer Clark? That's the name they gave you, isn't it? Pause. <laughs> Kal is a Hebrew name, by the way. El is God, and Cal is, uh, I forgot what Cal means. Like his voice of God or something like that. Uh, Captain Isaac brought it. I forget. Yeah. Well, El is a Hebrew name. That's his right, biblical Z. name. That's his God-given name, but he, Superman is a coon. Zod is for his people. He goes, El Kalel, but he prefer the name Clark, the name they gave you. Now watch. I was Krypton's military leader, your father, our foremost scientist. The only thing we agreed on was that Krypton was dying. In return for my efforts to protect our civilization, and save our planet. I and my fellow officers were sentenced to the Phantom Zone. And then the destruction of our world freed us. So our land was conquered, uh, was overthrown, blew up. Destined to float amongst the ruins of our planet until we starved. How did you find your way to Earth? We managed to retrofit the Phantom Projector into a hyperdrive. Your father made a similar modification to the craft that brought you here. 
and show the instrument of our damnation became our salvation. We shot out the old colonial outpost. Wow, people were scattered abroad. They found out people's dead. But they were scattered abroad. They were all gone. But all we found was death. Cut off from Krypton, these outposts withered and died long ago. I cut off from our homeland, we, we died. Cut. Armor, weapons, even a world engine. For 33 years, we prepared. For 33 years, how long Christ walked the earth? We detected a distress beacon, which you triggered. Can you pause, pause, pause. Because Superman represents a pagan messiah. So he's saying 30, he's 33 years old, the messiah died 33, trying to be slick. Mm -hmm. That's why he's saying 33 years. But go ahead, continue. Scout ship. You led us here, Captain. And now it's within your power to save what remains of your race. Pause. It's within your power to save what remains of your race. Mm -hmm. Not no earthlings. Kryptonians. Your race. Watch. That's the world engine right there. The genetic template for every being yet to be born is encoded in the registry of citizens. Your father stole the registry's codex and stored it in the capsule that brought you here. Pause. Every Kryptonian is born with a purpose. They're all genetically predisposed to a purpose, as we are. We're all disposed to be sons of the prophets. That's our predestined position. That's our design. That's how God made us to be. And so his father was liberal. He wanted, he wanted us to be make our own choice and do what we want to do. But Zod said, no, that's not how we're made. We're made with a certain purpose. So he took that codex or our records and placed it inside of Kalel. And he wants to extract that out of him to rebuild their people and their land back again. Go ahead. For what purpose? So that Krypton can live, live again. On Earth. On Earth. Watch. That's a Daniel scene. The match see? Everything's being destroyed. He's wearing his pause, pause. He's wearing his, his ancestral suit garment. Go ahead. And that's that uh, wisdom of Solomon. Uh, what's that destruction? You gotta accept both the destruction. Right, destruction, the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemy. Right. Right. So he's telling him this. He's saying, in order for us to rebuild Krypton, he's gonna slay it. Watch. Pause it. Keep on um, we'll play it. Go ahead. Where is the codex, Cap? Krypton lives again. What happens to Earth? Pause. Right. So if Krypton is rebuilt and lives again, what happens to the Earthling? What happens to the Gentiles? That's what you Negroes be asking all the time. Yep. Well, if Israel re gets the kingdom, what happens to the other nations? Right. He's saying the same thing. Watch. Watch what he says to him. The foundation has to be built on something. Pause. The foundation can be built on something. We got to build our kingdom on top of their dead bodies. That's what he's saying. Mm-hmm. We gotta overthrow them and take our kingdom back. That's Daniel 7 again. I'm gonna show you that in a, in a few seconds. Watch. He's gonna show you how it was built on. Watch. What happened to the strength? What happened now? Oh, oh God. Didn't I ask y'all if you could play this? You said, yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh. So it's, it's gonna come back on or no? That means that the whole stream is going to be cut off. They ain't going to be able to see it. We played it, right? I asked y'all, man. Y'all got to use your brain. I asked y'all if it's going to be a problem to play it. Y'all said no. It's on YouTube. Now the whole they can't go back and watch it. It's going to be they cut the stream. Oh, that don't matter. Y'all should, should know. It's too long.
So it'll go, all right, let it go. Yep. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Take it off? Yeah, take it down. Otherwise, we back on? Yeah. yeah. Everybody hear us? Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. I was trying to play a clip, but the YouTube is demonic. Can't even play a video on their own platform. It don't make sense to me. Right. Hey, I can you, you, you could continue in here because we still live on, face, on Facebook yeah. and Passport. Oh, so yeah, you can finish play the on point. Facebook? All right, yeah, so play it on Facebook. Point. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. People are saying we back up on YouTube. Um, Continue. Y'all are doing great. Um, so don't play the video. Don't play the video no more then. But we back right. up. Keep us on YouTube. Yeah. All right, cool. That's all right, that's all right. Yeah, I don't want y'all to, I don't want y'all to be able to replay the video again if you, know, if you if don't be able to watch it. That's why I got aggravated. Go to Ezra. Yeah, Ezra. So I'm just showing you that what, what, what Zah was showing Kalel. How he was like in the midst of everything, cause that didn't, that's not real, but it's right. like it's like he's showing him in, in his mind the image of what's gonna happen when they take over. When you when you proceed to watch the rest of the video, it's bones everywhere. It's all human skeletons. Mm -hmm. And then Kalo's like, no, he sink, he sinks in the skeletons. He's a coon. He wants to save humans and hell with the Kryptonians. Right, right. And he was terrified. Right, and that's right, exactly he was terrified. What, that's, exactly that's exactly how Daniel was. Right. How Ezra yes. was, how Habakkuk was, Malachi, Malachi, how Mo, they were all shown things right. li live. Right, right. It wasn't some like little slideshow. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw the earth up. Look, I was going. It was, a, it was. They were in it. And also, dig feeling who, it, seeing it. What other book shows any other nation their God has put them in a situation to know the beginning? The midst and the end of time. Right. There's no other book. There's no other nation. There's nope. no other God that's done. That go through these things, right. but our people, the prophets, right, and that lets you know that when our forefathers on this side of the world, the Aztecs, when they had that had the Book of Moses, when, when Esau showed up here, they knew it was a wrap. They said, "Oh God, it's it. We saw this. It's over." I saw Montezuma went into the temple because he knew. He said, "You start praying to the Lord," but it didn't work. It didn't help. It went in there and killed them. They went and killed them inside the temple. Right. Jump to verse. Uh, read verse three again. Uh, second Edges chapter 12 verse 3 and I saw and behold they appeared no more and the whole body of the eagle was burnt right okay, it says in Daniel 7 go ahead so that the earth was in great fear then awaked I out of the trouble and trance of my mind he was in a trance he was in, the, he was in it go ahead and from great fear and said unto my spirit that's all I want now jump to verse 11 yeah. verse 11 the eagle whom thou sawest come up from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of thy brother Daniel. So Daniel was not allowed to, to reveal what that, what that beast um, animal symbol was. Ezra saying it was the eagle. So that, this eagle had ten horns on it. This is a crazy looking eagle. Crazy looking eagle. Hmm. This eagle had ten horns on it. Symbolizing the EU, the European Union. On which America derives from. Coming out of Britain. Because the EU, Britain's part of the EU. And America it extends from Britain. It's the seventh of the eighth. It's the eighth. I'm sorry. It's the eighth, but it's of the seventh. seventh. All right. So America is that little horn that comes out of those ten horns. Okay. Go ahead. Read again. The eagle whom thou sawest come up from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of thy brother Daniel. So Daniel seven verse four. I mean verse uh, seven. Right with the four beasts. Yeah, verse seven. That's the eagle. Yep. That's the eagle that Daniel saw. Ezra. Daniel. Daniel did not write that down. The Lord's saying um, Ezra. This eagle is the same beast that, Daniel, that, you read, that you read about in Daniel. All right? right. So that's now. A, that's why uh, um, uh, Isaiah said precept must be yep, upon precept. Yep, exactly. Jump to chapter 11, verse 37. Second Edges, chapter 11, verse 37. And I beheld, and lo, as it were, a roaring lion chased out of the wood. And I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle. The lion represents first and foremost the Messiah. And also us going out there and preaching the word of God through the spirit of the Christ himself. Through the spirit of that lion, the lion of Judah. Go ahead. And said, hear thou, I will talk with thee. And the highest shall say unto thee, mm -hmm. art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts? So art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts in Daniel? You, you're the last one to go. You're the last. After you, there's no more. You're the last. This is we are living in the time of the Gentiles. We are living in the times of the Gentiles. We are in the fourth beast. The fourth beast is Rome. Where the hell you get Arabs from? Mm -hmm. Where you get Ar Show me how you get an Arab out of Rome. Show it to me. No, the white man is the Arabs. The white man is Italians. That's Rome. How you get Italians as Arabs? How you get that? 
That's the last ruling. Show me where it says Ishmael will be the last kingdom on the earth to rule. That's what Obadiah says. So show me something different. Once Edom falls, Israel rises, the Savior shall come up. That's the last ruling kingdom. How is that Arabs? What, are you talk- what the hell are you talking about? And also, Dick, in, uh, in this period of time, it's relevant due to the language we speak. The language we speak is English deriving from Romans right. and Anglo-Saxon. And all those, Britain. even the language proves what era that we in. Right, we speak English. Britain. Exactly, exactly. Right, go ahead. And that language dominates the earth. Yep. There's no, way, there's no place in the world you cannot find someone speaking English, it, it, it for the most part. It would have been the earth dom, uh, dominated by Arabic language. Arabic language, right, Arabic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go ahead. Good point. Go ahead. Art not, art not thou, it that remainest of the four beasts, whom I made to reign in my world. Whom I made to reign in my world. Go ahead. That the end of their times might come through them. That the end of their times might come through them. Go ahead. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past. And had power over the world with great fearfulness. So wait, it says the fourth came, the fourth beast came in Daniel's vision that overcame all the beasts that were passed as Rome overthrew all the kingdoms, the, all the dark nations. They conquered Greek, they conquered the Greeks, Persians, Babylon, they were all overthrown and ruled over under a Roman pro- regime. Go ahead. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were passed, and had power over the world with great fearfulness. And over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. He had power over the whole compass of the earth. Did Rome have power over the entire earth on this side? No, he did not. He did not. This is over the whole compass of the earth. This fourth beast has dominion. It had, it had, Rome had dominion over the, over the thir- three parts of the earth, not the fourth. Right. They came and conquered as the Spaniards later. Later. Spain came, because Spain and Romans are the same people. They came later. I'm going to bring that out later on in the series, that the Spaniards and Romans are the same people. That's another class. They all tie together. I know you get eat them. I'm surprised why I want the conquest of those Arabs. Uh, who knows? Dummies. <laughs> so, they did not conquer. Rome, the fourth beast didn't have this land on this side on lock as of yet. Just the old world. Watch this. But this fourth beast would have the whole compass of the earth. Watch this. With great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. With much wicked oppression. Going back to Bishop's class last night. Last, this Sabbath. Past Sabbath. Go ahead. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. And so long time he dwelt upon the earth with deceit. Now, let's read on down to verse 42. For the earth has thou not judged with truth. He judged it with lies. He spreads lies and, spread, and, 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 and no truths. Go ahead. For thou has afflicted the meek. He has the fools the meek. I was in class last night. The meek is Israel, Isaiah 14. Go ahead. Thou has hurt the peaceable. He has the poor. The meek is Israel as well, Matthew 5 and 5. Go ahead. Thou has hurt the peaceable. The peaceable is us. We're the peaceable. Go ahead. Thou has loved liars. Thou has loved liars, Columbus, Thomas Jefferson, Margaret Sanger. They love liars. Jose de Acosta. Now, someone said, to, someone posted in the comment board that Jose de Acosta may have been a Jew, a converso. Because it's historically, says, it's historically written that his lineage goes back to conversos, going back to Jews converted to Christianity. Even if he was our people, he was a devil. Right. I don't give a damn if he was black as night. He was a demon. His confusion and his rejection of facts is what Esau used and capitalized on to keep us divided as a people. They're from Asia. They're Asian. That idiot, whether he was a black man or white man, was a demon. I don't give a damn what he was. He was a demon, and Esau capitalized off his confusion. So regardless of whether he was a converso or not, I don't care. He's a heathen regardless. That don't change, I don't change what I said last week. It changes nothing because Esau still used his nonsense and pushed it as a fact when it was a lie. Pushed his, pushed his misinformation, his, his, his assumptions as truth to keep from people from realizing that the Native Americans were Israelites. All right? So I don't care a damn what he was. Let's continue. The, yeah, go ahead. Um, um, you're going to fin- you're gonna, you're gonna finish, I'm gonna finish 40, the verse. Yeah, 42, finish 42. Okay, right, after you finish 42. Go ahead. For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, thou hast loved liars. Right, the Mount Rushmore, they love liars. Columbus Day, they love liars. President's Day, they love liars. Mm-hmm. The um, Latin, um, uh, who, who else? Uh, Cesar Borgia. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Cesar Borgia, they love liars. Go ahead. 
and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit. And has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Yeah, Atawapa, Montezuma. We read that earlier today. Burn him in his own damn temple. For what? Yeah, are you going to say something? Yes, I just wanted to reach verse 43. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to read part three. Verse 43. Therefore is thy wrong for Dylan come up unto the highest, mm -hmm. and thy pride unto the mighty. So the word we want to pull out, 43, which mm -hmm. gives evidence right back to verse 40, is that we're talking about Rome. Mm -hmm. And the pride in verse 43 goes back to Obadiah 1 and 3. Yeah, let's Because pride it. is talking about Esau. Let's get it. Yeah. And it identifies the same eagle that Daniel was talking about. Yes, sir. You know, precept upon precept. Yep, let's get it. No, no, how you identifies Arabs. <laughs> identifies the Arabs in their, in, in, and funny in their we minds. can't speak like a lick of, of Arabic right. none, none of the schools is being run by that right yeah, last time I checked the Arabs are buying weapons from me, from uh, the so called white men exactly right <laughs> the last time I checked they hate Trump <laughs> so it's it, it, it's staying in context right Dick it's staying yes, in context cultural context Cu cultural context we're talking about the Romans we're speaking English. The pride is historical. It was prophesied by one of our prophets already. Mm -hmm. It's talking about the same people. And the eagle. And the eagle. Verse 1. We're starting verse 1. The book of Obadiah. Verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her. Or the guy, I'm sorry, or the guy say, yo, uh, if, the, if Esau is the white man, which white man is he? Is he a southern Caucasus? Is he oh, northern man. Caucasus? <laughs> Listen, man, Esau is so-called Europeans. Whatever you want to call them, whatever they want to call themselves, that's who they are, primarily. Is, is Esau among so-called Japanese, Chinese? Hell yeah. Is Esau found among the Arabs, white Arabs? Hell yeah. The Turks? Hell yeah. But predominantly... Primarily, he is the white man. I don't have to go into a go into detail as to what uh, white man he actually is. He runs the world. Yep. He's of the fourth beast. This is his kingdom. When it falls, we rule. That's Edom. Period. And that's how you identify him. Caucasian. Right. And then, uh, French uh, Caucasian. On, on top. I'm going I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. French Caucasian. Right. German Caucasian. Right. Irish Caucasian. Italian Caucasian. So you choose. All of them is Caucasian. All Caucasian, that's it. <laughs> right. They don't, they don't argue. Well, I'm not, I'm not Caucasian from the West. I'm Caucasian from the East. They just some Caucasian. They don't argue that stuff. Negroes who have ties, financial ties with Esau, tend to shift over to making them something else. Right, the ones they're sleeping that, with them, too. They're sleeping mm -hmm. with them. They, they were raised by them. Right. Some of you got step-parents that was white, too. You try to defend them. Um, you sleep with them. You're in bed with them, whether it be physically or financially. You make Esau everybody else but the devil. That's what it's all about. It's all about not burning bridges. I'm trying to make this money, man. If I say Esau, white man's Esau, that means I, God hates him. I can't teach that. I got to make this money. Right. We're on to you. You're not you're being fooling nobody with that nonsense. Read verse 1 again. The vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. This is prophetic. Go ahead. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. You, the most despised nation of all. Go ahead. The pride of thine heart have deceived that thee. Go back to, that goes back to Esther again. Mm -hmm. Thy pride, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. How so? Read. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Because Esau's dwelling place was the clefts of the rock. It was Mount Seir. Go ahead. Whose habitation is high. Who's Because he lived in the mountains. Go ahead. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Who shall? So, they, so Esau, at some point in time, prophetically, would gain power on the earth. Who shall bring me down to the ground? To say that means you have to have, so, you have, to have power to be arrogant to say that. Go ahead. Verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Isn't that not in Ezra? Yep, yep. Ezra uh, 12, <coughs> 11. 11, yep. Let me just read that earlier. Though thou what? Read again. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. And, 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 and if I'm not mistaken, what was Rome's symbol? Was it the eagle? Of course. Yep. When you watch these movies of Gladiator, you watch Gladiator itself, when you watch um, Commodus' throne, it's the eagle. His soldiers had eagles on the poles, 
on their flags. The, that's, that was their symbol. Any movie you watch considering showing Rome, Spartacus, you're going to see an eagle on their emblems of and, Rome. Indeed. And then whatever movie you watch about the Arabs, you see their cr uh, crescent moon and star. Right. Yep. They Islam. They got their own, their own symbols. Mm -hmm. and no, matter, no matter if it was the Spanish, the French, yep. whoever it was, they always carried that eagle. Right. It didn't change. Yep. 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 What verse you on? Uh, verse 4. Verse 4. Uh-huh. Though thy exalt thy now, some might say, "Well, what if you find a, a picture of an Arab using the eagle as a symbol?" Let, watch, we're gonna cut that real quick. Watch it. And Russia also had the eagle. Right. Watch, 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 watch this. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, did the Arabs build space stations in space? Nope. Did they go to the moon? Did they go up there first? Because nope. if, if you say Russia went up there first, that's still white people. If America went up there first. That's the white people. If you deny the moon landing, you can't deny your GPS. Because they have satellites up there. They have satellites up there that they got to go up there and fix. So they're still going in space. And they still have space stations up there. They have power to go in space. If they can split atoms that they cannot see, they can go in space. Right. <laughs> it's right. witchcraft. Right. Hey, Deke. Deke, speaking of that, uh, the satellite now they have on YouTube, you can live stream the whole Earth now. Yeah. Google Earth. So Google Earth. Right. You can just <laughs> you can live stream the Earth. Watch it spin all night long. Watch it spin, <laughs> like rims. It's spinning, spinning with lights. You see, because he saw up there already. Yeah, he saw us up there. So you can deny <laughs> the moon landing if you want to. The Bible doesn't. Right. One more thing, D, with that point that you made. Um, we we can't pull nothing up in the dictionary. Um, do say what kind of Edomites are they? They're all the same Edomites. They're all the same. I just I don't want to take you off course. I just want to go right, go to Genesis, go to Genesis 36, because now we know Genesis 36 speaks about the descendants of Esau. Right. All right. We're just going to pull out one word from the sons of Esau, and then we're going to look up that word okay. and see who that word refers to. All right. Plenty, plenty of evidence in the Bible, if you have that spirit to receive that understanding, like Bishop brought out yesterday. Right. Um, let's go to Genesis 36 and let's just uh, uh, verse 16. Actually, verse eight uh, and nine and then jump to 16. The book of Genesis, chapter 36, verse eight. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Mm -hmm. Esau is Edom. Read. Verse 16. Duke Korah. No, no, no. Nine. Verse nine. OK, sorry. Verse 9, and these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites. The father of the Edomites. The same definition you get when you look up Roman. Mm -hmm. You get Romans relates to the Edomites. Yep. Now jump to verse 16. In Mount Seir, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Duke Korah, mm -hmm. Duke Gadam, mm -hmm. and Duke Amalek. Duke Amalek. We know that's so that's a so-called Jewish people now, mm -hmm. right? What kind of uh white people are they? They the same thing. Let's just look up the word Duke in the Merriam Dictionary. Right, the the so-called Jewish, they're, they're, those are Germans and Russians. Exactly. That converted over to Judaism. Right back again to the la same language we speak from an Anglo-Saxon religion, from the uh, Germans mm -hmm. mixed with the Britons. All these are the same people. Mm -hmm. The Khazars. You know what I mean? Right. Um, the first one says a sovereign male ruler of con. It, it came out. <laughs> <laughs> of um, continental European duchy, right? That's the word. Duchy, yeah. Duchy. Here's here. It gets better. A nobleman of the highest hereditary rank, right? Um, go down. Go down. It's not the same one I got. It says, um, I got this one that says... Um, which, which, which one do you use? What, Miriam? Which one do you use? Yeah, I use Miriam. Go to Miriam then. Miriam, 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 Miriam right there. Oh, yeah. It, we'll go back to the first one. I just, skip, I just skipped the whole point. It says, a sovereign male ruler, a continental European duchy. Wow. Okay. European. The Duke refers to the Europeans. Right. The Europeans are the same race of people as the Edomites. Right. And it says Amalek in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amalek is the same people as the Europeans. Mm -hmm. So that right there is a destroyed statement right. that this dude made. You understand? Right. 
The Bible gives you evidence, and we could bring it up to date by just defining who are the dukes. Who's the people of the dukes? The dukes are the descendants of Edom. Right. And they are the Europeans. Correct. Just like the Romans. Right. Yep. Right. The initial dukes were Edomites. Yep. Prior to being overthrown by us. But the initial dukes were Edomites. Now, Edomites. Well, what, 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 what did they say? The comments? Or what did they say? Huh? No, no. Just saying that if you want to... Or argue what type or what Yeah, what type of... They're all matter. the same. They're it don't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. All right. Let's go to... Where we at? Back to Obadiah? Yeah, Obadiah, finish. yes. Verse 4. The book of Obadiah. Verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars. Space travel, space stations, whatever. Space force. Right. So there was no Arab space force. Esau, e, the Arabs are trying now to go in space. They're late. Esau been up there. The Arabs are only found behind what the white man is doing. To have a, to have a, up, a upper hand against them. To counter Esau's attack if they attack them. Go ahead. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So once you get up in space, I'm going to start bringing you down. Vietnam, you start losing wars. You start crumbling after a while. The age of decadence we're in now. The age of decline. Go ahead. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they have not? Would they not leave some grapes? He's saying, if thieves came to you, thieves still, thieves still to have enough. You guys still to all, to all that's gone. You still nationalities, lands, resources. You still every damn thing. You worse than thieves. That's what he's saying. Go ahead. Verse six. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Go ahead. All the men of thy confederacy. That's the ten horns. Go ahead. Have brought thee even to the border. To war. Go ahead. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived. Prevail against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Right. So you, you got, listen, if, he, if, he, if Esau is the Arabs, you got to explain Revelations. Yep. You got to explain Revelations. Yeah. You got to explain um, Daniel 7. You got to break that down so we understand, to understand it as to how that go back to Arabs. You, you have to. You got to do it. You got to do it. And we got books that say that, that Esau took over all of Europe and became Rome. We have books that say that. It's just it's a no-brainer. When you have no brain, then things that are no brainers, they, they don't work for you. <laughs> no brain, corrupted, defiled spirit. Right. Yeah, you can't understand above. that. Yep. Revelation 13, verse 12. I don't want to lose my thought about how earlier, how the Aztecs had knowledge of Daniel. I won't lose that thought. And how you had three parts, remember Noah, sons, three parts of the earth. Noah had, so, Noah's son had, Shem had this part of land. Ham at this part of the land, Jeff at that part, that's three parts. Keep that in mind. And America is the fourth part. Remember that. Revelation 13, verse 12. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 12. And Th he this history right here is a direct prophecy of the Spanish Inquisition on the known world and in the new world. Watch. Going back to Spain, going back to Rome, going back to the fourth beast, or the extension of. Go ahead. And he exercised it. All the power of the first beast before him. The first beast goes back to Rome. Rome. Go ahead. And causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. How? By having Caesar Borgia, Pope of Alexander, the sixth, the sixth son of, of, of Rome, to be depicted as the Messiah. So when you worship Caesar Borgia, you're worshiping an image of Rome. You're yeah. worshiping the first beast. Read again. And he exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused of the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. That's the Renaissance, because when Esau took over again, when Spain took over again, they conquered us out of Spain and Portugal and gained dominion back over the earth once again. That's the Renaissance, the rebirth of the Edomite Empire of Rome. Again, go ahead. And he doeth great wonders. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. When did the Arabs do this? This is a nuclear destruction, the hydrogen bomb. Um, correct. He did scientifically what Elijah did spiritually. That's what he did. He had fire come down from heaven spiritually. He, this guy used science, signs of under Satan to do it. Technology, Satan, same thing, witchcraft, to do it. And also that's what Zod said too. Zod said they use science to regulate what they were doing. Right. Same thing. Right. Go ahead. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Deceive them how? Because people said, this, he must be God. 
these technological, these technological advancements he has, turn a man into a woman, a woman to a man. He's got to be God. He made condoms. He made birth control. He's God. Mm-hmm. I could have bought this child on what? He's God. We got Bluetooth. God. <laughs> touch my, I could touch my phone. Send text messages. God. <laughs> FaceTime. FaceTime. Yeah. He's God. He, the Lord God be done with him. He's chosen people. He's the first Christians. He's God. God looks just like him. He has to. He has to. Read again. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. Because he spread that religion. He spread Christianity to all nations. All nations worship that image now. Christianity is it's almost everywhere. If America's not in the country, for example, Cuba, Cuba is a communist land. It's communist. They're not Democrats, but they're Christians. Mm-hmm. Christianity is all up in there. Christianity is in China. Christianity is in Arabia. Christianity is almost everywhere. So they all worship America in some form of fashion or Rome in some form of fashion. Either politically or religiously or philosophically, they worship the beast. And they're dressed like them, too. Right, and just like them, and copy the technology. Well, and their government. They're always so into Right, and their um, um, their cities, built the uh, high, scra- high, high, high skyscrapers, right. um, high skyscrapers, skyscrapers, all of that. Go ahead. Go back to the verse again. Read again. Verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. By means of that technology, that science. Go ahead. Which he, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. In the sight of the other EU, the other European nations. Go ahead. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. That was overthrown and reborn. Renaissance. Go ahead. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. He had power to give the life image because now Caesar Borgia went from being Caesar Borgia to now he was given the actual life of the Messiah. He's Jesus now. He's the Messiah now. And that life and more life through media, through television, through comics, illustrations. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image. And cause that to what? And that it, it cause that as many as would not worship the image. If you did not worship Caesar Borgia, go ahead. Image of the beast should be killed. Should be what? Killed. What happened on this side of the world? They killed him. If you did not worship Caesar, you were put to death. Mm-hmm. If you didn't worship Caesar over there in Spain or Portugal, you were put to death and sold in slavery. Same thing, doing the exact same thing. Did the Arabs do that? Did the Arabs do that? You can't make, you can't, listen, some of you make stupidity in art. I'm telling you. Damn, stupidity in art. It's another level of stupidity right there. They're high, it's like, it's it's like, they, it's like they like super <laughs> saiyan idiots. I don't know, super, like they go be like super saiyan god retard. I don't know how to put it. Richard, and you know what's crazy about it too, Deke? Even in this day and age, right, where our people are lost in Christianity, are lost in the false image of their God, right. they're still killing you. Yep. They're still killing you. Yep. The and dude run up in a church and shoot black folks, and he gets treated to McDonald's. D- Dylan or, Roof. Dylan Roof. Right. You he, understand? He, mm-hmm. That's man, crazy. He bought my man a Whopper. Yeah, and we still can't realize that this man is the devil. And even now, if you go against the image, you're a hate group, you're identity extremist, you're a racist, you're prejudiced, they demonize you. They destroy you um, through media. The media, they, the character assassinates you. All right, so we're going to take a break. We're going on a break now. Stay tuned. Stay with us. We got more for y'all. Just stay tuned. All right? Shalom.
songs, I'm sending up praises. Yah's amazing, quickening my spirit so heavenly. Kept me alive for another day. His mercy rains down heavily. Charity making a better me. You ain't thinking repentance, you better be. Wanna make it to heaven and see the king? Can't imagine the kingdom is about to be. Twelve gates with the twelve name, twelve foundation, four walls round. Twelve angels standing at the gate with some kings rocking twelve point crown. I'm just speaking the prophecy, teaching it properly. Jacob, now with the return of the Lord. Holy Joseph, that's where you slay that nation gon' fall on the glittering floor. Faster than a speeding bullet, we look like a locomotive or a plane. Spiritual X Men with the power fighting red juggernauts, that's Kane. Trusting the prophecy, and it came. Stay in the book, but this ain't no comic. Gotta do power, I spit flames. MC, you see how I'm coming. Hawk out with the vision, I'm hooked with the hammer. War machine, and we bringing the damage. Iron Man, we too heavy to handle. We got the light, they can't blow at the candle. Prince of the power with purple rain. Every light law on my brain. Kyle Lil, I'm a superman. I'm in the booth, look at how I change. Greater than a superhero, yeah, I'm about to take off. I'm a prince from Royalty, 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 fly with my cape off. And yeah, I got my power from the king. Keep it commandments and I'm staying clean. It really is the greatest that you ever seen. It ain't no mistake, y'all. I'm greater than a superhero, yeah, I'm about to take off. I'm a prince from Royalty, 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 fly with my cape off. And yeah, I got my power from the king. I'm keeping commandments and I'm staying clean. It really is the greatest that you ever seen. It ain't no mistake, y'all. My nation, the greatest that you ever witnessed, and ain't no mistake. Holding my head, yeah, I said what I said. I stand on my word, so clear me some space. I'm taking my place, number one on the podium. Heathens and salt, they full of their sodium. Earth is ours, yeah, we taking it over. Got spiritual power, word is Jehovah. Hey, hallelujah, I'm sending up praises. Look, 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 it's amazing. Chariot wheel whipping through the atmosphere. Independence Day, when we out of here. Yo, this prophecy properly moving. It's manifest destiny. Life is a movie. Heavenly screenwriter with the word play. And our life is living what the word say. I endure to the end. I want a reward, a ruler should crown me. I was groping in noonday. I was lost in the dark, yeah, Howard can't found me. Now I'm here on a mission, we used to be under derision, I dare him to clown me. Won't hear from the heathen when we in the kingdom, they legacy never be found B. I'm a ministry mover, I used to be out here a loser, but now I'm a changed man. I died in the flesh, but now I'm a god, so now you can call me an X-Man. It's miraculous, marvelous, marvelous man. Black as the night, and they can't cover him. Ends of the world, is just the beginning. And move out the way, cause the faith coming in. Greater than a superhero, yeah, I'm about to take off. I'm a prince from royalty, 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 fly with my cape off. And yeah, I got my power from the king, keep it commandments, and I'm staying Clean. It really is the greatest that you ever seen. It ain't no mistake, y'all. No I'm greater than a superhero, yeah, I'm about to take off. I'm a prince from royalty, 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 fly with my cape off. And yeah, I got my power from the king. I'm keeping commandments that I'm staying clean. It really is the greatest that you ever seen. It ain't no mistake, y'all. No so, boys, what y'all doing, man? Oh. You be strong, huh? Who is that? Captain America and Wolverine and Thor and Iron Man. Okay. Who is this? Where y'all get this from? Man, one of these damn, it's one of these damn evangelists that came over here and gave you some bull crap. What is this? Heavenly Mother. Y'all look. Hey, y'all, y'all want to learn about some superheroes? Let me show y'all what the real superheroes. Phenomenon. Kick it against the priest, lose your soul when that fire come We purify better than gold, got my Bible on And that's all that I know, where Babylon Don't fall, watch it blow, ayy Switch it 
mixing it up, the nation's gonna drink it, I'm talking to the cup, don't care what you thinking, believe in the gospel, the is thinking, the fires of heaven, gonna gather for dinner, the eel of the flesh, the wicked, the sinner, your mama, your sister, your daddy, your cousin, if they is, if they mind, they don't repent, they scream in peace, when they ain't no peace, Israel, pop a sign in the streets, look at me, the center of a tent, black messiah, coming with a business, coming with a business, black messiah, coming with a business, they scream in peace, it ain't no peace, we pop a sign in the streets, uh, IUIC, see we in the streets with it, beast with it, with the kings and the priests with it, my people sleeping, got them dreaming in the sheets with it, so we spit that holy fire, bringing heat with it, we out here fighting for better days, most sins make better slaves, gotta come together on the seventh day, lose 11 and I levitate, 1 plus 11 heaven gates, 12 tribes, no river base, kingdom come, I can never wait, but the praise of science never separate, Christ coming back with a legion of them angels, picture perfect prophecies, trying to find my angle, hung up from a tree and they watch his body dangle, so the vengeance of the Lord coming down, you in Danger. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah coming with a business. They scream in peace, it ain't no peace. We pop a sign in the streets. Golden wedges of all fear. Look at here, we the prophets of the most high, the only God I fear. Killing your career as a Christian, shed a tear. Jesus take the wheel, I'ma let the scripture steer. Joseph interpret dreams, but I don't think he could imagine it. See in the last days, Jacob told him this would happen. And we let loose, we some loose cannon. Pace saints on the scene, and this kingdom we commanded. Purple and gold, no LeBron James. With King Christ, we gon' see better days. Now you not free, cause you got money. You a slave, the most high on his throne, but holding all our ways. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah, coming with a business. They scream in peace, it ain't no peace. We pop a sign in the streets.
Yeah. You might all not right. know. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Jump in the situation, yeah, contemplating how it's no problem, solve everything uh, with the Bible. Tell the people that the end is getting right. closer. The smoke will blow all you right. over. The vengeance of the all Lord. Right. Look, I don't right. see how you all live right. You live your whole life wild yeah. profiling. Uh, a nobody. nobody. When you should have been an angel like a your body. I like things. This ain't nothing that. for our maker. Uh, may the Lord say you. Yeah. May the Lord yeah. keep you. May the Lord bless you. May he show you how to be enlightened. Take you to a schooling cool. and show you about his laws. Turn you to a changed man. A, change a made man. man. A just man. Just into the holy land. Holy Don't start land. nothing. Then it wouldn't be it nothing. Wouldn't be nothing. Let me tell you, let me tell you what you're dealing what with. You're dealing. We the Israelites. All right. We the Israelites. All right. We the Israelites. All right. Don't ever cut your beard. beard. Take heed to the laws. Cause God laws. is who you fear. fear. It started with a little faith yeah. and then it got bigger. Uh, Understand commandments got you feeling a little different. different. Pressure bust price, feel the pressure, stop sinning. Stop a humble sinning. limp again and start reading the book of Genesis. Genesis. A stumble uh, block from memory, but the chosen got the remedy. Yeah. Reading through the book, got you feeling like it's history. history. Read about the ships and now you feeling that it's meant to be yeah. a parable. I, I know, know it's shareable. Something, something that's memorable. Uh, Literally the spirit. Yeah. Cursing for a visual. Uh, it's a breathtaking feeling when, when you find, find out you're Israel. Don't start nothing, then it wouldn't be it nothing. Wouldn't be nothing let me tell you, let me tell you what you're dealing what with. You're dealing we the Israelites. All right. We the Israelites. All right. We the Israelites. All right. All right. All right. Don't start nothing, then it wouldn't be it nothing. Wouldn't be nothing let me tell you, let me tell you who you messing who with. Messing we with. the Israelites. All right. We the Israelites. All right. We the Israelites. All right. Like music, study session last night and it was off the heat. Brothers with the spirit saying thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Simplicity of Christ, yeah. but the flesh won't make it easy. Make Test it easy. me before you bless me in different season. We trying to rule the world so they gon' charge up for treason. Charge. No reason for the panic. Yeah. The spirit automatic. Uh. Our righteousness should always make the sinner feel the tension. The acts of the apostles. Yeah. Can you keep a secret? Uh. I see this like a movie. Like yeah. a movie. Catching the suspense. Uh. We're catching their attention. Catching. We're raising Enough suspicion, don't uh, start nothing, then it wouldn't be nothing. Wouldn't be nothing then. Let me tell you, let me tell you what you're dealing what with. You're dealing we the Israelites, all right. We the Israelites, all right. We the Israelites, all right. All right, all right. All right. Don't start nothing, then it wouldn't be nothing. Wouldn't then. Be nothing let me then. tell you, let me tell you who you messing who you with. Messing we with. the Israelites, all right. We the Israelites, all right. We the Israelites, all right. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, everything checked out. Now I got one question. What's those on the bottom of y'all shirt? We the Israelites. In this situation, contemplating how it's no problem, solve everything uh, with the Bible. Tell the people that the end is getting right. closer. The smoke will blow all you right. over. The vengeance of the all Lord. Right. Look, I all don't right. see how you all live right. it. You live your whole life wild and yeah. profiling. Uh, I know.
am and where I came from. The small talk never suited me. They only want who I used to be, want what I used to be. No, I'm not who I used to be. Most high made me royalty. They only want who I used to be. But that ain't me no more, no more. No, I'm not who I used to be. Most high made me royalty. They only want who I used to be. That ain't me no more, no more. That ain't me no more, no more My name, they changed, that ain't me So I went and took back, I took back what's mine Had them blinders on, now I see Should've took heat sooner, red flags was waving I let it ride till my life felt caved in I remember when I wanted just to fit in But lately... Lately I'm the one who's changed Well either way I digress from the situation My heart's no longer syncopated so I'm just gonna fall back Learn who I am and where I came from Small talk never suited me They only want who I used to be Want what I used to be No I'm not who I used to be Most high made me royalty They only want who I used to be no more, no more, no I'm not who I used to be, most high made me royalty, they only want who I used to be, that ain't me no more. Shalom, shalom. We're back. We're back. Welcome to Our Hidden History we're Radio. Back. Our Hidden History Radio. We're back. Um, this we're going to go to Revelation chapter 6. And we're going to read verse 8. Now, remember, we started off, we left from Revelation 13, 12 to 15 about the, um, the America and so forth being the beast and having us worship, worship the first beast, image of the first beast, whatever. 
going into Caesar Borgia, Rome, the Spanish Inquisition, the, colon the colonizing of this land, or was all going back to the Inquisition again. All right? So, let's go to Revelation 6 and verse 8. The now, the bishop went over this way back. This, this is going into, this is a, re a reflection of Zechariah 6, verse 1 through 8 regarding the horses. You have the red horse, eat them again, black horse, eat them, and the pale horse, eat them. All right? Verse 8, start there. The book of Revelations, chapter 6, verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. A pale horse, go ahead. And his name, and, and his name that sat on him was death. The name that sat on that pale horse was death. Go ahead. And hell. And the hell, go ahead. Followed with him. And the hell, corruption, followed with death and hell, followed with him. This pale horse, go ahead. And power was given unto them. Power was given unto them, the that, that red, red horse, pale horse, go ahead. Over the fourth part of the earth. To do what? To kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Be verse 8 again. And I looked. And behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. This pale horse that sat on this was death, go ahead. And hell. And corruption filed behind him, go ahead. Follow with him. Watch what power was given to him over what? Go ahead. And power was given unto them. Unto them, this nation, this pale horse, power was given to them over what? Over the fourth part of the earth. The fourth part of the earth is what? It's America. Yep. Dang. It's America. The fourth part of the earth is America. That's the fourth part. Wow. We already saw the third part. So the fourth part of, of the earth is the Americas. Revelation 12, Revelation 13, it says, whoever will not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. They came to this side of the world. They bought the image of the beast on this side of the world. Whoever will not worship that image was killed. They conquered the old world. They conquered the third part world, old world. Then they came to this side of the world as the conquistadors, Missionaries, Jesuits, Spaniards, and they conquered the fourth part of the earth. And they bring hell with And brought them. Hell, death and hell death with death. them. Damn. Read again from the top. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. That's why we read earlier, and Ezra says he took power over the whole compass of the earth. The third part of the earth and fourth. He has, that's why I said he took over the whole World. The, ro the fourth beast took over the whole world. America is an extension of the fourth beast that, had dom that gained dominion eventually over the whole compass of the earth. Go yeah, ahead. Because uh, when, in that um, book, nobody knew that land. Right. So this is the fourth part. It's the fourth part. Right? That's why I said the third part, some Noah's three sons got it. Europe, Africa, Middle East, Far East, they had that. But the fourth part, they didn't have that. That's but the what? Israelites knew about it. We knew about it. Everybody else didn't. That's why, says, that's why he said in the book, no cosmographers had it, written records of it. But Solomon did because Moses had it. Moses gave it to us. The, so we, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's why in this, in this verse, there was no need to mention a third part because that's already been right. taken care of. Right. They already unruled that. Right. So they specifically mentioned the fourth, fourth part. part. Everybody knew about the third part. Right. right. Everyone knew about the third part. The third right. part was the old world or known world. Right. But the fourth part was new. That's why you so called it the new world. That's the fourth part. Mm. Read again. Wow. And, and power I look, was given? Power and... I'm sorry. He's up the top of the top. I'm confusion. you. Stop the top. I'm sorry. And I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. Go ahead. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth uh -huh. to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. To kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Bishop brought this out before about regarding them creating diseases. They use animals to do it. Okay. Hey, D. Fetal and animal tissue, they use this to create diseases. That's over here. Remember, um, the COVID-19, all the weapons, all that stuff is here. And they ship it over to China. And, you know, this is just a lower, uh, a lower sense of revelation. What's coming to me as I'm reading this is 
ironic how you had William Cooper that wrote a book, yeah, and the name behold. of the book was Behold a Pale Horse. Right. And inside that book, he was giving you a lot of government intelligence, secrets about UFO, um, all these tests is they doing on humans. Right. That's also the death. That's the same death the Bible is talking about. Yep. And it's ironic how Esau named that book Behold a Pale Horse, mm-hmm. the death that America is creating. Right, so about America, correct. Yep. So he took part He took part of the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword. Remember so earlier that he made war in, in, in Ezra, he conquered the peaceable and those who were at peace with him. He went, Remember, so he made war with them. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... It says, to kill with the sword. Now go back to Revelation 13 and verse 9, where it says, he that killed the sword must be killed by the sword. sword correct. Killed by, who killed who by the sword? Us, the Israelites, by the sword. Be verse 8 one more time. One more time. Yes, sir. And I looked, the book of Revelation, chapter 6, verse 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth. That's that's America. The Americas. Go ahead. To kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Right. And with the beasts of the earth. Because he used them. He used animals. Remember, um, even the smallpox. Mm-hmm. All these diseases. He used all these things as weapons against against us. Against in general. That's what they call it. Germicidal warfare. Germicidal, I believe it's called. Biological. Biological yeah. warfare. Biological. Biological warfare, right. Biological warfare. All right? Sword with hunger, with death, and with beasts of the earth. All right? So now, let's go to Zechariah 8 now. Zechariah 8. They're slowly coming out of America now. Coming out of it. I gave you that little, that little piece right there. It's like we left off last week with Zechariah 8 and 3. Sorry, verse 3. Mm, yeah, let me get there with you. Go ahead. The book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 3. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Right, we're going to be the, the top government on the earth, the holy mountain. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. Yeah. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys. I mean, and my, my, my book says very age means multitude of, multitude of days. I meaning we're going to live long, oh, yeah. long, long. Old men here could be probably a thousand years old or more. Dang. It says old here. <laughs> you're thousands thousand years old. <laughs> That's going to be, eight, we're going to be ages old. Remember, ages old. Remember that class Bishop had, uh, I think, uh, two weeks ago? Yeah. We said a, ba- a baby going to be 100. Yeah, they're gonna, we're going to mature faster. Yep. Talk, talk within a few months. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women. Remember, the oldest living man was Methuselah. Methuselah lived almost to 1,000. Mm-hmm. He, he, he died around 900 and something plus years old. He was the oldest man alive. Lived, the oldest living man. He, well, he lived the longest. Go ahead. So we're going gonna to return to that again. Go ahead. There shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Safely. Mm-hmm. Playing in the streets, safe. No niggas doing drive-bys. You're going to be dead and burned. No heathens killing us, kidnapping our kids. No more diseases. You're going to be gone. Yeah, no more Problem cars. free. No ghettos, no slums, no garbage, no pissy elevators, no bed bugs, no roaches, no rats. We're going to be happy. We're going to be good. Go ahead. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvelous in my eyes? In mine eyes? I mean the Lord's eyes? Go ahead. Saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, I will save my people from the east country. From where? From the east country. From the east country? That's the eastern hemisphere. Go ahead. And from the West Country. And from the West Country. That is America. The fourth part. Fourth part of the earth. All right? Now, let's get, um, let me see what I want to get. Jump to verse 8 and 13. Verse 8. And I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, 
and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Jump to verse 13. Verse 13. And it shall come to pass that as ye were accursed among the heathen, O house of Judah, and house of Israel. Both kingdoms, go ahead. Both nations, go ahead. So will I save you. I will save all 12. Go ahead. And ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. That's all I want. So, let's get um, a view of the a view, the book view again, the view. I want page 234. I gave you all those pages. I gave you all those pages. I should have them. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me try to read along with y'all. Where is it? Where is it? I'm talking about I forgot it. Ah, uh, I forgot it. Ah. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, that's good right there. That's good. Yeah, no, go back. Go I back don't know where, where right the, there. I need that book too. I should have brought it. I forgot it. All right. Um, yeah, start from um start much uh um, wait, 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 I'm sorry. No, start from in chapter eight. Yes, and we're gonna end at four wins. Okay. Uh in chapter eight are predictions of the same final restoration of that people. Uh huh. Final restoration. Not the one now. That's phony garbage. Nineteen forty eight, that's garbage. That ain't happened yet. That's trash. That's not that's not restoration at all. Go ahead. After predicting God's great jealousy and fury in behalf of his people, he says, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth and the mountain of the Lord of hosts. The holy mountain. Just read that. Go ahead. It then follows verse 7. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country. And from the west country. Watch this. By the west country. I'm sorry. By the West Country here, we must suppose it, it meant, meant America. America. Bring it out. Esau knew. Esau know what West Country means. Columbus knew what West Country meant reading the Man. scriptures. Mm -hmm. They knew what the fourth part of the world was. They knew what the third part of the world was. They know. This book was written in 1825. They know what the Bible's saying. And Negroes they, is confused. They don't know. I'm confused. And, and, Esau ain't confused. And they made a movie about it too, um, the Conquest. Quest of Paradise. Yep. Right by John Jeff. De oh, something Jonah, they're about to do. They're about to do. Right. Um. Hmm. We down. We gonna stop at. Uh, I say stop at. Stop at four wins. Keep four going. Wins, yes, sir. By. By the West Country here. Stop by the West. By the West Country here. We must suppose it meant America. It did. Go ahead. None were saved from any West Country. At the time of the restoration from Babylon. See, no one was saved from any West Country at the time of Babylon. Mm -hmm. None. That's the Eastern Hemisphere, Eastern Country. Go ahead. This shows then that the, that the thing predicted was distinct from and future of that event. So they understand. Oh God. Deuteronomy 28. They understand yeah. that the restoration comes from Native Americans on this side and Judah on the other side. They must all come together. Mm -hmm. That goes back to them bringing us over here as slaves and what? Us slowly coming what? Restored. Restored again. Esau understands this. Esau says in his book that it's their job to restore us together, meaning Christians and Native Americans is Israel and Judah. That's what Esau's concept is. But we know, understanding who we are, it's referring to us from the East Country and eventually during slavery being united again through what? The wet brought to the West Country. And being restored. The truth started where? In the West Country. That's where the truth started. The majority of Israel is where? In the West Country. That's where the truth started. Go ahead. In the original and in the margin of the going down of the sun. No, I'm sorry. In the original and in the margin of the great Bible. The phrase is from the country of the going down of the sun. East. The uh huh. East, yep. The going, the going down of the sun from Palestine is over America. Damn, go ahead. And as God has said in a passage just quoted from this prophet, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven. Go ahead. So America must probably be included in this description of their being spread abroad. You see this, man? <laughs> they know Israel's in America. They know this. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> they knew that. 1825. This book. 
You can't make this up, man. You cannot make it up. They know. Dig, just to get that straight, go back down, scroll back down. The part where it says, um, uh, this country, the going down of the sun. Where what go, part was that? Going down the sun um, from Palestine this, is over America. It, does, is that saying that Jerusalem is over America? I just want to clarify that uh, phrase it right says, there. It says the, mm, the going down of the sun from Palestine is over America. Yeah. I, I believe the, the east. He's saying the east. The east side east is, is east. over this nation. Right. Okay, okay. The over is over America. The, going, the, the, the country of the going down the sun, going down the sun from Palestine is over America. It's right? over America. Over America, all right. right. All right. So now, let's go to... Where I want to go to now? Ezekiel 20, verse 32. I know I haven't been, been going over scriptures lately, these past few days, couple of chapters, but I have instances where we're going to go over a lot of scriptures. And I have instances where we're, where we're not. And also, Israel got to get the fundamental point of these books. That's establish, establishing the vision, D. Right. Like, you got to see this thing in your mind. Build this vision in your spirit so that way when the scriptures come out, then the faith it, it expound on that. Right. Say that. Ezekiel 20, verse 32. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all, that ye say, we will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries, to serve wood and stone. So Israel's mindset, we began to assimilate during the time of Babylon. Um, we said we will be as the heathen. Likewise, we will be as white folks. We will be as Americans. We will be as uh, Chinese. We always try to be everything else. But we always try to be everyone else, everything else but the Israelites. I'll be Egyptian. I'll be African. But not Israel. Never Israel. Okay? That was the assimilating, assimilation, integration mindset has been around since before for, for time memoriam. There's a reinforced habit here in America. Um, get 25 and 8. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 8. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord God, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Read it again. I'm sorry. Read, I'm sorry. <laughs> read it again. <laughs> Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 8. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Right. So Israel became like unto the heathen. Israel said we will be like all the, we will be like the heathen. Like today, we go above and beyond to be everything else but what the Bible says to be. Like in Maccabees, we became as the we became the Greeks woefully. We became the Romans woefully. We became Babylonian minded woefully, Assyrian minded woefully. Persian-minded, woefully. American-minded, woefully. Spanish-minded, woefully. Portuguese-minded. Everything but Israel. We always have, a, have a, hab a habit of wanting to be everything but who we are. So that mindset is common in Scripture. It's just, again, in this captivity, it's a reinforced habit. Get Galatians 2 and 9. Let's, let's, get, let's get into some deeper stuff now. Galatians 2 and 9. Watch this. We will be as a heathen, right? You Christians are going to get mad now. Oh, you guys are pushing madness. <laughs> I'm going to make you I'm gonna upset y'all. Today is your day. I'm going to upset y'all today. If they ain't mad, we ain't doing our job, D. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. And to be right. honest, I enjoy it. It makes me feel good inside. Oh, so when you get it. mad, it makes, makes my teeth even whiter. <laughs> I, your anger sustains me. Your tears, is, it's like sweet dew. <laughs> good Galatians 2 and 9. The book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 9. And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. Right. That we should go unto the heathen. Go unto who? The heathen. And they unto the circumcision. That we should go unto the you remember we read earlier in Ezekiel, Israel yep. will be as the heathen. Heathens, so Paul was sent, Paul and Barnabas' job was commissioned to deal with our heathen-minded brothers. And James, James, Cephas, and John were to go to the Israelites who knew they were Israel already. The circumcision. So, so, um, hmm. you get three and eight. 
I'm going to get more. I'm going to prove it. Get three and eight. But Galatians chapter three, verse eight. We got bad classes on this, man. That's why I don't want to like beat a dead horse. But I'm going to go, go into it. Go ahead. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen. Ah, through, that God would justify who? The heathen. Through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, And thee shall all nations be blessed. See that? So they go, see? And all nations shall be blessed. Read verse 8 again. And the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith. Justify the heathen through faith. Go ahead. Preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, And thee shall all nations be blessed. Let's get that real quick. Let's get Genesis real quick. Let's get that scripture. Regarding, and, and Abraham shall all nations be blessed. Let's see what that means. I can't even, they're going to say, if I, if I don't go to it, they're going to say I'm avoiding it. You know how Christians do. I got me just go to it real quick. Bishop brought this out last week, I believe. He brought this out last week. Genesis what? 12. 12 and 2. 12. Yeah, 12 and, yeah. Three is a point where we could start up from the top. Yeah. Is that the verse I want? Three? Yeah, three is the verse. Nah, no, it's not it. It's in, um, not it. It's 15, it's in, 15? It's in Genesis uh, 15. It's 15. Uh, 15 is 12 there. is good, but it's 15. <clears throat> I haven't gone there so long, I forgot where it is. <laughs> Let's go here. Oh, man. 13 and 15? No, Let me go back. No, no, go back. no, no, no. It's Genesis, uh, I'm sorry. I think it's Genesis um, 17, 16. Yeah, 17, 17, 16. 17, 17 6. 17, 17 6. 17, 6. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Um, All right, Genesis chapter 17. Verse 6. Verse 6. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee, and their generations. It's written mad. Oh, that's not it either. It's written different ways, mad times. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me go back to where I was at. Twelve and three. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's, that's you said. Yeah. Twelve and three. <laughs> yeah, twelve and three. Now I want that. Where you're at is where I want to be at. Go back to uh, chapter seventeen again. It is twelve and three. It is also seventeen and six. Seventeen and six. Read it again. Uh, you want 17 and 6? And 6, yes. The book of Genesis, chapter 17, verse 6. And I will make, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, mm -hmm. and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Uh -huh. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations mm -hmm. for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger. All the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and right. I will be their God. Go to verse 16. Verse 16. Regarding his wife. And I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. How many nations did, did Sarah, the, um, his wife have? She had one. One. Yep. She had one. It's referring to Isaac. Go ahead. Kings of people shall be of her. Kings so are going, going into Isaac's seed. Jacob, going back to Jacob. Now, what I want is... Well, he's, he blesses Jacob. Mm -hmm. He says the exact same thing to him. Hold on. Is it 27? 22, 17. 22, 17, yeah. 22, 17, read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 22, verse 17. Hold on. It says the east, west. That's good too, but it says the east, west, his sons. That's Abraham. No, he's talking to Jacob. Okay. God damn it. Say something, Cain. He caught, caught me like um, Deacon Laba, man. I got to be like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, by the way, shout out to Deacon Laba, man. Um, all this, all this um, history coming out, making me want to clap my hands for myself, uh, knowing <laughs> for real, knowing that we are the greatest people. And like I said, this is establishing that vision where there's no vision of people fail. So Israel, you that's getting this understanding, 
this is the kind of stuff when your kids come from school, you debrief and uh, put this history back into their memory and remembrance right. because Esau is taking it away. Yep. Get Genesis 1818. That's what I wanted. 1818, and we're going to get 28 and 14 after that. That's what I want. That's what he's quoting from. Genesis 1818. The, the book of Genesis, chapter 18, verse 18. Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. See, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him, right? Now, go to 28, verse 14. The same blessing that was passed to Abraham was given to his wife, and he also passed on to his son Jacob. Watch this, 28, verse 14. The book of Genesis, chapter 28, verse 14. Watch this. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west. It'll be in the west. Read that numerous times. Go ahead. And to the east. It'll be in the east country. Read that numerous times. And to the north. It'll be in the north. Go ahead. And to the south. In the south. It'll be in all four winds of heaven. Go ahead. And in thee. And in thy seed. And in thy seed. Go ahead. Shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Why? Because Israel is scattered among all of them. That's why. In them shall Israel bless, will be blessed, will be blessed among all the nations. As Israel is among all nations, they'll be blessed among all the nations on the earth. Because they'll be they'll be scattered in the north, south, east, and west of the globe. Same thing he said to Abraham, it's passed on to his son Jacob. I'm talking about all nations. They're, they're gonna get blessed, all right, the other nations. They're gonna be blessed with nine to five forever. <laughs> <laughs> nine to forever. All overtime. Right, overtime, guaranteed overtime. <laughs> This is scripture as a continual employment. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> My family, get that blessing. Get, get Ezekiel real quick. Ezekiel. Real quick. Since La LaCroix mentions employment, I'm going to give you our blessing right now. Hold on. 39 verse 14. So you won't need, no, you won't need, you won't need Trump nor uh, yeah. Biden to, get, to give us jobs. You're going to have jobs continually. <laughs> Ever. Right. Ezekiel 39. Ain't nobody going to be unemployed. Everyone's going to have a jab. Everyone. You all have jabs. <laughs> Give you a jab. You're going to build. You're going to build. You're going to yeah. fix things. The, the economy's going to be booming. You're going to build the walls. 39, 14. 39, 14. I want you to read Ezekiel 39, 14. Show it with fair. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. I'm a good, we're good guys here. You love I love everybody. I, I have red socks. I don't, like, I don't hate red people. I have white socks. I have red socks. <laughs> I'm not racist. <laughs> I'm a loving guy. I'm a loving guy. I'm a loving guy. Oh, man. Ezekiel 39, verse 14, please. The book of Ezekiel, <laughs> chapter 39, verse 14. And they shall sever out men of continual in, un, employment. See? Un unemployment. Continual employment. <laughs> continual employment. <laughs> See how we do it? Continual. That's the promise. That's the promise. That's the blessing for you. Continual hey, employment. Dick. What have you got to lose? <laughs> what have you got to lose? Continual employment. Just don't say unemployment. <laughs> no, no, continue employment, man. Read it, read it again. Read it again. And they shall sever out men of continual employment, passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth, to cleanse it. After the end of seven months shall they search. See, you're going to search for all the bones of those who went against us. You're gonna, your, your job is to find those bones mm -hmm. and get rid of them. See, you guys are going to be sanitation. <laughs> it's your job. See? We're merciful people. Build the walls. Play, clean up. That's your job. We're going to give you a job. You can play that little song from Barney Clean Up. Clean Up. Right. Everybody, <laughs> everywhere. That'd be your song. Sing that song among yourselves. That'd be your little, your little uh, heathen spirituals. Oh, man. <laughs> heathen spirituals. Servants and handmaids. That's right. Zechariah 10, verse 6. Everybody do your share. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Barney. I hate that dude, bro. <laughs> Them songs in your head, man. Zechariah 10, verse 6. The book of Zechariah, chapter 10, verse 6. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph, and I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. Right, we're going to be as if we were never slaves. We're going to rule and be so happy, we're going to forget about the slavery we was in, slavery that we were in. Go ahead. For I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. Go ahead. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. Go ahead. I will hiss for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have 
as they have increased. Right. And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries, mm -hmm. and they shall live with their children and turn again. Mm -hmm. Read on. Yeah. Uh, he said, I shall hiss for them. Keep that in mind. I shall hiss for them. Like, whew, whew, whew. Hey, come, come on, hurry up. That goes back to him calling us. Hiss for us. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt. And gather them out of Assyria. He will bring us out of the land of Egypt and out of the land of Assyria. Go ahead. And I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon. And place and place shall not be found for be them. Going, why? Because of ver, back to verse 8 where it says, They shall increase as they have increased. We're going to out, outgrow our lands. And after a while, we're going to outgrow the earth. And if we outgrow the earth, we got to go to other places. That's another topic. We have to go other places outside of this place. Get uh, Isaiah 5.26. Isaiah 5.26. 5.26. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 26. And he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and I will hiss unto them from the end of the earth. And oh, be wait, read again. I'm sorry. Where you at? 26, right? Yes, sir. I'm not reading along. Read, read again. I'm sorry. And, and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far, and I will hiss unto them from the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. And behold, they shall come with speed swiftly. Right. He, he shall hiss them from the ends of the earth, right? He shall hiss for them from the ends of the earth. We read that earlier. We read that in um, Zechariah as well as Isaiah. Get page 235 now. Page 235 of uh, the view again. We're going back to that page again, I think. Yeah, two, three, five. Now it was two, three, four last time. Now we're in two, three, five. Um, we're gonna start at um, in Zechariah ten six to nine, and we're gonna stop at we're gonna stop at whistling. In Zechariah. Chapter 10, uh, verse 6 through 9. Yeah. Is the same event. And Ephraim is by name saved from far country. Read that this now. Read that far country. Go ahead. He will, hiss them. he will hiss for them from the far country. Go ahead. And I will strengthen the house of Judah and will save the house of Joseph. And I will bring them again to place them. For I have mercy upon them. Just read this. Go ahead. And they shall be as though I had not cast them off. Mm -hmm. For I am the Lord their God and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall, shall be like a mighty man, mm -hmm. and their heart shall rejoice as through wine. Yea, their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased. Mm -hmm. And I will have them among the people. And I will save them among the people. And I will save them among the people. Uh -huh. And they shall remember me in far countries. In far countries. Go ahead. And they shall live, and they shall live with their children and turn again. Turn again to the turn again to him. Go ahead. I will hiss for them. God is represented as hissing for a people. Uh -huh. Only in two texts besides this. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 26. You read that earlier. Go ahead. And 7, 18. 7, 18. Uh -huh. In both of which passages, the hiss was to call distant heathen. Stop. Mm -hmm. The hiss was to call distant heathen. The hiss was to call distant heathen. Right? Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Keep going. God's hissing in this passage. Then, to gather the children of Ephraim in the last days. Stop! So he's telling you that the heathen is Ephraim. Northern kingdom. So when, he told, when they commissioned Paul and them and, Bar and, and, and um, Barnabas to go to the heathen, it was Ephraim in distant countries. Yep. He, 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 listen, Esau knows this stuff. Negroes are retarded. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all confused. You got the mark of the beast, in your, the image of the beast in your brain. You all lost and confused. We're not confused. We're playing catch up to his books. He, 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 he been at these books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they've been known this. They're keeping us in the dark. We had a part again, distant heathen, calling from a distant heathen. Go ahead. And, oh, I'm sorry, call distant heathen, go ahead. And, and both of which passages, the hiss was to call distant heathen. Distant heathen, watch this. God's hissing in this passage then to gather the children of Ephraim in the last days seems to indicate his providentiality calling them from a distant heathen state. Ah, a distant heathen state. They weren't actual heathen, but they were in a heathen state. 
their behavior, the lands they were living in, mm -hmm. a heathen state or Gentile state of mind. Mm -hmm. Corinthians 10, 12. Go ahead. And it is a mode of calling, which perfectly symbolizes with the calls of American natives, mm -hmm. a shrill, significant whistling. There you go. So the Native Americans are referenced as the heathen on this side of the world. Distant, heathen-minded. Because some of them went into paganism. <laughs> which, which reflects to the curse of being scattered. Right, being the scattered. The distant. Right, heathen. and we will be as the heathen. Yep. Ezekiel 25. Correct. Esau knows who, he's to, who Paul was talking to. Esau understands who the heathen are throughout the New Testament. It's you Christians and Christianity cults that are confused. We're not confused up here. We know what we're talking about. Okay? Hey, hey deep. My man probably killed himself after he wrote all this. He probably right. did, man. <laughs> yeah. He could have he he stayed alive, man. You know, Lord, so he come back, we'll give him employment. We'll give him a job. <laughs> have him build the walls. Uh, and this you. is the stuff that's supposed to make us walk with our heads up high. Those of you who understand this message, those of you who is getting this, start walking with your heads up high, man. We got a bright, bright, uh, we got bright days coming. If you can endure. Name of the game is to endure. Right. Psalms 50 now. So Esau's thought in this book was that he was going to convert these American Native Americans who are in a distant heathen state of mind that are Israelites to Christianity, to restore them back into the gospel, the glorious Caucasian gospel. That's the author's thought in this book. Now realizing that <laughs> him bringing this information out proves that he knows that the Native Americans are Israelites and that they were in, an Israelite, they were in a heathen state of mind. So whenever you read about heathen, it's not or nations, all nations is referring to Israel, scattered abroad throughout the north, south, east, and west. Okay, Psalms 50 and verse, you know what I want, 16 to 22. The book of Psalms, chapter 50. Psalms chapter 50, verse. 16. 16. But unto the wicked, God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Sin, thou hatest instruction, and casteth my words behind thee. When thou sawest a thief, then thou con consentest with him. It goes about the second Ezra 11 42, where they say they love liars. Mm -hmm. It's in the same thing. Go ahead. And has been partaker with adulterers. And you are partaker with well, adulterers. Go ahead. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Yeah, Christianity. Uh, image of the beast. Go ahead. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. That's Esau speaking against Jacob. his brother Jacob. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Thou slanders thy own mother's son. He slanders us. You're not the Jew. I'm the Jew. You're a Gentile. That's slander. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. These things you did, and I, I sat back and watched as it was their time to go through it. It was their time to go through that. Go ahead. Thou thoughtest that I was all together such and one such and one as thyself. So much that you created an image of it. You made me red like you. Made my father look like you. Made my angels look like you. Made me look like you. My people look like you. Go ahead. But I will reprove thee. But I'm going to correct you, and that's happening now. We go out in these streets, we're reproving them. Go ahead. And set them in order before thine eyes. And they're seeing it. The truth is spreading. They're seeing us being set in order before their eyes. Israelite movement is growing. Steadfast is growing. It's growing strong. Go ahead. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. And he is going to do it because they're not going to stop. They're not going to consider anything. They're going to keep on doing what they're doing until death comes at their door. Now, let's get 2 Esther 2, 33 to 34. 2 Esther 2, 33 to 34, regarding heathen. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Second Edges 2.33? Yep, 34. The book of Second Edges, chapter 2, verse 33. Let's see if our forefathers were familiar with heathens being Israelites. Watch this. I, Edges, received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Oreb, that I should go unto Israel. Go unto who? Israel. Like all the other apostles and the prophets did. Go ahead. But when I came unto them... They set me at naught. They rejected me. Go ahead. And despised the commandment of the Lord. Go ahead. And therefore, I say unto you. Oh, unto who? The ones he was sent to. Israel. Go ahead. 
O ye heathen. What do you call them? O ye heathen. Here Ezra called his people, O ye heathen. Go ahead. That hear and understand. Look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. Isaiah 14. Go ahead. For he is nigh at hand. He's coming. He's coming soon. Go ahead. That shall come in the end of the world. He shall come in the end of the world. You understand? He shall big, come big, in the big, end big, of the big, world. Big. If I may, may I please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second sure. Ezra 6 and 9. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. He shall uh, come in the end of the world. Nah, nah, I got, I, I got another one. Because I got another one. Go ahead, officer. End of the <laughs> world. <laughs> He's the end of the that? world. Six and nine. Second Ezra six and nine, please. The book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse nine. Let's see if it's uh, that's the end of uh, um, Ishmael, mm -hmm. the Arabs. Right. For Esau is the end of the world. See that it shall come at the end of Esau's rulership. Mm -hmm. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So that's when the Messiah comes. Right. That's the fifth world that the Issachites or Mexicans said in their in the Bible over here. So that's the fifth world. The world that come out the east saw is our world, the Messiah's world. Obadiah, the last verse. Then you can get your dry hand. All right. I have to, man. I have to do it. <laughs> Just in Bring case it. I don't believe in the Apocrypha. Okay, no problem. Bring it up. Obadiah, this. Cover all corners. Obadiah, the last verse. 21. It's right after Amos. The book of Obadiah, chapter 21. And Savior shall come up, up come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. Judge who? The Mount of Esau. Ishmael. The Mount of Esau. Arabians. Esau. Iranians. Esau. Pakistanians. Esau. Esau. Go ahead. And the kingdom shall be the Lord's. So once that happens, the kingdom shall be the Lord's. We read that earlier in 2 Ezra 6 and 9, man. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing being said. Once Esau is judged and the Saviors take over, the kingdom will be the Lord's. Mm -hmm. Where you get Arab? Where you get Arabs from? Now, what you got, um, other side? Yeah, I was. We go. We gonna bring the same thing right into the New Testament mm -hmm. because the apologetics won't. You know, they don't uh, acknowledge the Old Testament. Oh yeah, they don't. The key word in um, the scripture was find rest. Right. The rulership that's gonna be on earth after Esau that you're gonna find rest in. Explains that and also Matthew eleven twenty nine real quick. Mm -hmm. Matthew eleven twenty nine and from the scripture you know who that is. Who's going to be the one we find our rest in? Mm -hmm. The book of Matthew chapter eleven verse twenty nine. Mm -hmm. Take my yoke upon you uh -huh. and learn of me. Uh -huh. For I am meek and lowly in heart, uh -huh. and ye shall find rest unto your soul. That's in Christ from mm -hmm. the Old Testament to the New Testament mm -hmm. prophetically. You know, there's no rest in this government. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Only in Christ when that rulership comes on this earth. Yep. Right. Exactly. That's it. That is it. So we're going to wrap it up there. We got to three, right? Huh? Yep, we got about three minutes left. Three minutes left. All right. Mm -hmm. So wrap it up there. Uh, announcements. Uh, yes. Oh, I want to shout outs to uh, the IT team. that did an excellent job. Excellent job. Um, and shout outs to the sisters for the breakfast. It was an ex excellent the breakfast team. Did an excellent job. It was great. Well, praise to the Lord for that. And announcement. Yes, sir. Shout out uh, to Deacon. Um, earlier in our little blooper, you, you, just, you guys just don't know how excited and how determined Deacon is when he's bringing out all this information to you guys. Yeah. And when you miss a little bit, he gets frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we apologize for the little interruption earlier. And it's just the zeal um and, and our deacon and our leadership to bring this message to y'all, all right? Crazy. And if you guys want to support and you must, this is where you should put your faith, your trust in. Um support our hidden history radio show, IUIC dot New Jersey at IsraelUnite.org. Also support uh the Boosters Club at um uh, IUIC fundraiser, um uh, IUIC dot fundraiser at IsraelUnite.org, all right? And please subscribe to the page, um, our, our page, hidden, IUI, our hidden, no, IUIC our, Philly, and right. also Our Hidden History. We're going to have our own channel now. We have it now. Our yeah. Hidden History Radio. Our Hidden History Radio. Subscribe right. to that. Right. And all the videos will be uploaded on there. Whatever you missed, all the videos will be uploaded on there. Chapter From chapter one down to present. And we're going to redo chapter two with those issues with that. We're going to redo that eventually. Chapter two again. Yes, it also subscribes to um, IUIC Philly in the classroom, so you'll be updated with our activities and events um, that we're doing on this side also, mm -hmm. all right? Um, and make sure 
please, Israel, make sure you share, 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 and hit that like button, all right? Yep. That's it. That's it. So, Israel, stay tuned. Make sure you go over these classes during the week. Feed the flock. Feed your family. And with that, we all say shalom. 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 God bless. Rounding up the book to read. I got to get them all looking overseas. And you know where. Round another, round another, uh. round another, round another, uh. yeah. Round enough the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it, and you know it, yeah. Reading through the law to see, I gotta dot the I's, even cross the T's, and you know it, and you know it. Praying to the Lord, have mercy. mercy. Show me where you wanna go first, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. While I'm teaching to the people that's thirsty, thirsty, searching for the truth that's hidden, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Speak through the mouth from my lips when I'm. Show me where you wanna go next, you know. Sing you don't know where the truth is fed. Fed. Looking all around But you don't know where to go But well, we gon' show you the way Okay, let me read the line Line it up, send it back to back Kicking nine time, doctrine killer Here's the stepping back Captain Joel from the book Get the robbers back Officer Ahim Yeah, that's Pepper Black Officer LaCroix Get from way back Minister of Knowledge Officer, just remember that We gon' search the whole world Oh yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Tell them you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just tell them you know. Oh, Up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it, and you know it. Yeah. Round another, round another, uh. round another, round another, uh. yeah. Rounding up the book to read, I gotta get them all looking overseas, and you know it.